Hey everybody, what happy piece? Friday night. Uh, getting ready to get started here with our uh, first hands-on look at a live stream for God Tier. So, very excited to sit down and play some games uh, with me tonight. Uh, my name is Matt, by the way, from Frontier Gaming. Uh, I've got Henry uh, also, and Dawson will be helping out as well. What's uh, cracking now? Some of you might know him from the Imperial Voxcast. He's lending us his star power and uh, awesomeness tonight. Star Massive power. star power. <laughs> Massive star power. <laughs> Nothing uh, makes uh, me smile greater at work <laughs> than hear you subtly drop <laughs> your war machine, your uh, Warhammer podcast. Yep, that you yep. so, sometimes of. not so subtly, but uh, yeah. still hey, always. No, fun. no, no. <laughs> it's the subtle ones that make me laugh the uh, most. Yeah, I, I used to do a podcast. But uh, yeah, but tonight we are looking at uh, God Tier. Uh, for those that uh, may not have heard of this, this is a new miniature game that's just coming. Uh, is it still on Kickstarter? Is it? Uh, oh, it's the, done. The Kickstarter it's, it's still there. Yeah. But you can still you can still find it on Kickstarter. There's a lot of really good information. Yeah. There. So yeah. we'll we'll post a link in the chat for the uh, website, and uh, or actually for our web store where we have it, uh, we, where you can pre-order the war bands. But uh, yep. There is that, but uh, no, we're very excited to be looking at this. We usually we do a Legion stream on Friday night, so we're mixing it up a little bit this time. We'll probably do a Legion again uh, next week, and then pick something else. And then I, I, I hear like there might be some thing. 40k in the future. Yeah, it's definitely 40k is the, working uh, on it, right? in the dockets. So, I, I get my, uh, we're I get very my excited. Night but uh, just give it a few minutes, let some people filter in, hopefully. Um, okay. How are we doing for people? So, What's that? How are we doing for people? Oh, I don't know. Probably not too many. We were supposed to get retweeted by Steamforge, but apparently everybody in the UK is asleep right now. So <laughs> we'll do with what we have. Who sleeps? And the great thing about this is we get to upload it on YouTube later, so people can just check it out at their leisure. Yep. If they don't catch the actual stream. Turns out I but get to be on YouTube. What's that? I said it turns out I get to be on YouTube. Yay. Because <laughs> I'm not already. Yeah. You're not already YouTube famous? Yeah. Oh, well, we'll get you there. <laughs> but, uh... We'll get you there, bud. This is definitely going to catapult my influence. Yeah, this there is it. Go. This is the stepping stone to, uh, more gravity. Kobe! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the idea tonight is we're going to be doing, uh, I'm going to play a quick game with Henry. Yep. Uh, because Henry and Dawson are the uh, subject matter experts here with God Tier. They've been keeping up with the rules. Is that your subject matter? Right? Yes, yeah. you are. That's uh, okay. don't let anybody say otherwise. I yes, uh, I've very Dawson, much. Er, excuse me. Uh, Henry's going to be teaching uh, me the game because I'm a little bit familiar with it. I haven't got really sit down and play it a whole bunch yet. And, and then him and Dawson are going to actually play a full game. So uh, during mine and Henry's game, we'll, we'll I'll try to be. Uh, well, he'll be explaining the rules, and I'll try to ask the questions so people get a feel for it. Uh, mm -hmm. And then him and Dawson will just be no holds barred, slog it out. Yep. And uh, what we're playing tonight are with the pre-production models. Yes. So these are not the final models that you're going to get once the Kickstarter launches. These are all metal pre-production. Yep. They're still awesome sculpts, and some of mm -hmm. them are really awesome. Yeah, Steamforge but does it, not hold anything back. No, Steamforge is a great company. Uh, they've produced other games such as Guild Ball and Dark Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls notably, notably. Big, yeah. which is uh, the opening that box is maybe the best thing about it. Oh, 100%. <laughs> The you big just you died. lose right on top yeah. was you, whoever, whoever, you, you died. Whoever came up with that was brilliant. Um, but these models are fantastic. Uh, you will notice as we pick them up and can tell these have heft. They are solid metal. But the ones from production will not be. They're going to be yep. full piece plastic bat models mm -hmm. straight out of the box already put together. And I think that's a, a really big benefit for the system. Oh, 100%. Um, you and Turner are going to play. And you guys are using yep. what four guys? Uh, so I will be using Blackjaw, the Bloody Messiah, and Lorsane, the Autumn Wind. Okay. So you got orky guys and elfy guys. I got orcs, I got elves. You can't get more classic than that. Hey, how do you have orcs and elves? I, that, have, I have orcs and elves. Well, I mean, let's talk about that real quick. Like, uh, one of the things with God Tier is that there's no factions. Yes. Right? Yeah. So orcs and elves, like, the those of us who are classically trained in our Tolkien lore, <laughs> uh... We know he that went to seven years of college for this, so let him use it. Bro, <laughs> I haven't even gone to seven years of school. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, but like, there are no factions, so you can play any any warbands together any with each other. Yeah, any combination of champions and warbands. 
uh, which is really cool. Uh, yep. And I think it's one of the, the best things about the game. Hey, Henry, could you scoot down just a little bit? Oh, of me? course. Just, just, a, just a little bit. Just a wee bit? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's that's. Fine. And uh, so you've got orcs and elves, and I've got dwarves. Yep. Because I'm using... Uh, Rodri Ironheart, the Thane of the Forsaken Hole. Those are the silver guys there. And then yeah, that's Rodri and the four little dudes. And then uh, maybe my favorite of the I mean, all of the models. Of people's yeah. favorite. Yeah. But we have Rangosh, Scourge of the Broken Plains. Hashtag Minotaur. Uh, the yep. demonic Minotaur of Justice. <laughs> Meaning his... There is no justice of, with him. Yeah, of Raiders. There's only his, carnage. his gang of... Uh, um, Humans in this world, I guess. They well, they're bandits, actually. They're bandits, yeah. They're literally bandits. They're the red bandits. They are indeed. Um, and that's like Rotary has the household guard, right? Like he's the yep. very honorable dwarf. Lorsane is your classic like elf maiden bow chick. Yep. Uh, not not to just say that all tropes are true, but hey, sometimes it, it, it works, it, right? Yeah. So for those that uh, are maybe seeing this for the first time. Uh, one of the things that kind of threw me off is like, why are the champions so much bigger than like their little minions? So the reason being, the, the big story is that the, in the world that they've created for God tier, the gods have died. They did, huh? They, they did. But they're okay. up in heaven dead. Yeah. When they died, they, their essence, their tears started falling to the, to the worlds. Get it? God tier? Aha. Uh-huh. Mm. That's why it's T-E-A-R. Yeah. So certain people are able to harness these, these tears. Uh, most most beings cannot withstand the power, but some can. So it's and like the Infinity Stone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what happens is you collect the God Tier, and you start you get, as you a get human. Stronger. You get bigger. You get and nastier. Like Rangosh used to be a regular guy. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. Ah. And um, so not a regular cow. A, a regular. little bit. A little bit of God. A little bit of God Tier later. Yep. Um, and uh, every weight. Every uh, muscle building weight dude in the world wants some. <laughs> yep, hundred percent. Because you know, sick gains, bro. Yeah. But uh, some some champions choose not to. Uh, one champion that we're not using is Shale. Uh, yeah. Instead of absorbing it, he has decided to defend the god tears. So yep. he forms his his minion around them. Yeah, so he's kind of like a druidy kind of guy yeah. with a. Uh, he's my personal one. favorite of this game. Yeah, he, he's, I, he looks pretty good. Person. We, we are going to so show him off later tonight. Yes. Cool. Okay, when you guys play. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah, set up for a two v two kind of intro game. Yep. yep. And then the, the full game is played with three heroes and their war bands. Correct. Yep. Nice. Um, and I think that the cool thing is, is that one v one's probably not super interesting. There's too many like uh, rock paper scissors matchups. Yep. But I think in 2v2, even in 2v2, there's so many matchups and so much possibility. Uh, it's launching with 14 champions yeah. available? I believe so, yeah. It's, um, and there a bunch more due to come out. I, yeah. I've heard it described, uh, I got a preview of this a couple months ago when they were just going to Kickstarter. And it was basically for people that come, had no idea about board games, miniature games. They were telling me, well, you've played like League of Legends. You've played Dota before, Yes, it, right? it definitely has this MOBA it, feel. Yeah, this, mm-hmm. this kind of MOBA feel where you pick your champions, mm-hmm. you get their creeps. And uh, having one of your guys die isn't the end of the world nope. because they basically get knocked back, restart, and then you get back in the fight. Yep. So yep. Th- it's this constant back and forth battle between the two different uh, sides. Mm-hmm. It's really exciting. On yep. the other hand, like you lose activations and everything when they die. So it oh does, yeah, there's definitely it does, have it, it, for dying, it does so. feel like yeah. if you lose a champion at the wrong time, it can be entirely backbreaking. Yep. And that is just one of those things that I think is really good about the game, yeah. where it's got it feels that balance between. Uh, my guy didn't permanently die, mm-hmm. uh, which is when you permanently lose someone. There's always that like negative feeling or like reasoning to protect, right? Like there's yeah. always that yep. desire. Versus in the situation where guys always come back, sometimes you just throw dudes away. Oh, 100%. percent. Uh, and I think this rides the line bet- like right between those two mm-hmm. really well. Exceptionally yeah. well. It still gives you opportunities to do some risk versus reward calculations, yep. and like uh, I might push my luck here. But if he dies, oh well. What's yeah. really nice yeah. is that it definitely gives that feel of like a skirmish where like things can go back and forth. They can they can lean and tail, mm-hmm. and that's and I like that how they've captured it here, uh, primarily in their uh, their scoring. Yeah, for the game. So let's let's talk about scoring and how that works a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, how do I score? 
there's a few different action, uh, things you can do in the game to score a point. Um, ultimately, at the end of the turn, we uh, everything is tracked by this marker. Yep. And depending on which side of this dark line it is, you score the point for that turn. Yeah. Point, and, point or points. And so I shift a, that by scoring points within the round, right? right? Yeah, so it's a tug of war. It's a tug of war thing, yeah, which gives okay. you that like, back control. and forth feel. Yeah, and it, it's interesting because there's definitely times when you can swing it all the way down. Mm -hmm. And, then and you can just look at your opponent and be back. like, can you score this much? <laughs> yeah, can um, you do this much in this Or, game? But there are also times when you're like, I'm just going to shift it one and give you, the, like, yep. and put it on you mm -hmm. to make the win. Right? Uh, and but, that that's the interesting part to it, right? Yep. Like, those choices. Mm -hmm. But the different ways that you shift this, this marker, um, first is just killing a minion. Kill a minion, you get a point. Like, you are, you are slowly edging out their attrition, so you just get a point. Um... One thing is that in order to collect it, you have to have your banner there. You have to claim that this is your god tier. This is your essence you're claiming. Okay, okay. so the little hexes are basically the objective These are your objectives, points. yeah. And you got to go up and claim them. And, yep. and well, once again, those this is pre-production models, so the, yeah. they, the MDF hexes are the god tier. Yep. Um, I'm sure they're going to be super cool when it comes out. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they yeah. will. But, yeah, placing a banner will also give you a point. Yep. Where you get the real big swings... Uh, Knocking out a champion. Yep. That is a huge tide in the battle. So yep. that's going to give you four steps. And that, it can actually be more depending on what champion you're using. Yeah. Like, uh, there are champions that are specifically designed to kill other champions. Yep. And they get more points for killing dudes. There are champions that are specifically better at placing banners. They get yeah. more points for placing banners. Like, as I recall, the uh, the elf lady there, that uh, she's got just that killer bow that'll yep. just snipe oh. people out. Mm -hmm. Yep, 100%. And she is a slayer. Yep. Uh, and it's broken down into four categories. Yep. We have Slayer. We have... Maelstrom. Maelstrom, which is for killing the warbands. Yes. They get extra points for killing dudes. Uh, you have Shaper, which you get an extra point for placing your, your banner. And what's the fourth one? And then the last one we haven't talked about is uh, Guardian. Guardian. They care about their banner staying there at the end of the turn. Yeah. And Did if it's there at the end of the turn, that's another four-point swing. Do they have to be near it? Nope. Okay. The banner just has to be on the objective when the turn is over. Okay. Um, that said, when a banner is on an objective, it's not like a for sure thing. If an enemy champion, can, enemy champion can come by and be like, "That's silly," and just completely step over, land on it, crush it, mm -hmm. and get it out of here. You just kick that thing to the dirt. Yep. No flag, no country. No flag, no country. <laughs> this is my god tier. Uh, so we can kill bros. Yep. We can kill champions. Mm -hmm. We can place flags. You can. We can make sure our flag is still eggs. there. Yep. Uh, that's it, right? That is it. Cool. It is really simple, but it feels it's very incredibly complex. complex. Um, okay. Well, I mean, are we ready to get a game going? 100%. Okay. I mean, I'm ready to switch with you. Are. Swap with Dawson. If you're just coming in here, uh, welcome. Thanks. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, but Henry's gonna teach me how to play God tier, and we'll talk it through for everybody. And Dawson will sit in. Please feel free to ask questions. If you have any uh, comments or are wondering if something's unclear on the table, uh, feel free to let us know and we'll, we'll get uh, answers for you. Yep, yep. Okay. So right, I talked to you earlier and we decided for the demo game that you're going to take the orc warband and the yep. elves. Mm -hmm. Orcs and elves, yeah. And then I've got the dwarf and the winotar. Yep, you sure do. Okay. So first thing we gotta do, we gotta figure out who's going first. Okay. So we're gonna roll four dice, and whoever has the most pips. Does it matter what color they are, or? Uh, no, like this is just a demo kit, so like okay. they're trying a bunch of uh, things. Uh, oh, all okay. the dice are exactly the same now for okay. the colors, so the colors don't mean anything. But uh, this is just how we at the store have decided to go first. Um, if they come out with an official way, then there's an official way. Oh, okay, so it's, they're, they're really just randomizing. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're just randomizing who goes first. Oh, yeah. and as of uh, this recording, we're playing rule set, which... 1.0.2. Okay, so if you're coming to us from the future, then uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, one of the things is this is going through an open beta yes. right now. Uh, you can actually go to steamforge.com and mm -hmm. uh, get the beta rules for yourself. But, and yep. they're, they're being updated as they fine-tune and try to make this the best game it can be. Indeed, so. indeed. All right, there's my four dice, so I've got wow, two, four, six. Wow, six fits. Nice. Ah, and I only got three. Okay. Three still respectable on four, Henry. It is very I much. mean, it's, it's no six. Yeah. I think that's, uh, again, the little bit I played it uh, a few months ago. I don't recall ever seeing this many successes, period, ever. Yeah, it's, that's <laughs> ever. different. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> um, so you will be the first player. Okay. 
Uh, I'll be the second player. All right. And, and one of the big benefits with being the first player is you're always going to start with that yep. thing on it's your side. Start on your side. Okay. Uh, but it does mean that you have to deploy first. Indeed, it does. Uh -huh. okay. So when you deploy, you're going to deploy your champion and the corresponding warband. Okay. So for this objective, we're doing uh, just this very first line. Okay. So that is your deployment zone. That is your deployment we deploy zone. here, and we're basically trying to claim the god tiers or score five points. However, yes, you however we do you that. decide to win the game. Uh, okay. So it's interesting that you're going to do the, the, the deployment works interestingly in that you're going to deploy a champion and his warband. Okay. And there's no requirement for them to be next to each other. Nope. The other interesting thing I think I want to bring up right here is that warbands deploy slightly differently than you might expect. Okay. Uh, warbands can stack up to three models in a single square. If they're small. If they're small bases. Oh, okay. Oh, because uh, as you were talking about the like other Like Shale's got a large base, okay. yeah. Yep. Stone Golem guy. Yep. Okay. But uh, uh, that means that's going to make certain attacks more powerful and things of that nature. Because so, you got more guys gaining. Yep. yep. Exactly. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put out Captain Defensive Dwarf here. And uh, we're going to pop in right there. And then I do the minions at the same time? Yep. Same time. I start with three. You all four. place all four of them. All four. Wherever you so choose. So, but only three can go into a Only square. three can go into a square. Okay, that's fair. I'll go ahead and get the uh, Dwarven Shield wall going. Uh, I'm going to start with Hussein. Hussein is going to post up here. Okay. I believe she wants to be in the middle of the fields. And then... Archerborough, Archerborough, and we're going to throw an Archerborough here. Oh, okay. So, I noticed I've got four minions. You've yep. only got three in that war band. Mm -hmm. So, is that pretty standard? Um, they're uh, all pretty different. I see yeah. that there's five guys yeah, like here for Rangosh. Five. Okay. Black Jaw has five. Uh, okay. Shale, because Shale forms the god tiers into a thing, Shale only has one follower. Yep. Yeah. The, the but it's where it, it does a lot. Okay. <laughs> that one follower is almost a champion. Oh, it basically is, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you've got your elves out yep. there. Well, here comes Big Angry. Big Angry. So we go there. We'll go ahead and hit through here and two over here. So I'll leave Blackjaw. Blackjaw's gonna square up with Rain Dash here. Is it a good idea? Don't know. Stay tuned. It's a demo. I'm supposed so, to win. So, <laughs> real quick, what type of heroes do we have right here? We've already talked about Lursane being a slayer. Yep. Okay. What type of dude is uh, Blackjaw? Like, why did you Blackjaw deploy him across? Maelstrom. So, Blackjaw gets more points if he score if he destroys followers. So, if he if he kills these uh, smaller guys here. Ah. So you deployed across from uh, Rangosh because he's got five he's guys. He's got five guys. He's got more dudes. And it turns out dwarfs are kind of hard to kill. Uh, yeah, they. Those shields put a lot of work in. Okay, so... I mean, their shields are roughly the same size they are. Exactly. <laughs> well, uh, then you're that stunty. And then uh, Rangosh is also a slayer. Right? Yep. Yep, he is a slayer. And, and then uh, what? Rodri is a guardian. Guardian. So, guardian. Yeah. so he wants to have so that flag at the end. Banner, yeah. Okay, so he's trying to score with his banner. Yep. yep. Rangosh is just trying to kill stuff. Indeed, indeed. Okay, seems like a good combo. Now, if I was to play a full game with three different heroes, mm -hmm. I could they could all be slayers, or they could each be like a guardian, a slayer. Yeah, it all depends on how you or, how you choose to play the game. Okay, cool. Hey, Turner. Yes, sir. We may have a slay hiccup. What's up? Uh, Stand by. One of the gentlemen is asking if the stream is up or if his internet is messing up. And I figured since we're at the point we are right uh, now, it might check. be a good idea to uh, we do have check. another stream running over here. Isn't the internet fun? It, uh, it, it, no, it looks good on our end. Okay. Uh, try refreshing the stream. Sorry. Just, yep, I've got a good amount too. Yeah, I've got it pulled up on my phone. It looks to be okay. Yep. So try refreshing. He says he's not getting any video or audio. Hmm. So let's uh, let's keep going and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll keep talking to him. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So, so now we, we're going to get into actually playing. Yep. So turns are broken down into two halves. You have your plot phase, and then you have your clash phase. Okay. Think of the plot phase as setup. So you're going to do a lot of moving. You're going to apply buffs to your champions. Okay. You might apply debuffs to the enemy team. Uh, you're going to get yourself into a good position. Also, importantly, this is the only phase you can place a flag. 
Yes. Ah, okay. And this is phase called again? The plot phase. Plot phase, okay. You'll notice your cards have plot phase on one side and clash phase on yep. another. Holy cow, you're right. Yep. Dirt sided cards. Indeed. During this phase, you will activate all of your models. Okay. And then I will activate all of my models. The only difference between the two sides on the card that you managed to pick up and show oh, are yeah. that one has the alt and one does not. <laughs> I got was confused. It, it. Okay. Okay. So which one? So I'm assuming the ult is going to be in the not plot phase. So you can do you your can ult anytime. anytime. Oh. Okay. You also, you take one it action. face up so that you know you still have it available to you. Gotcha. Okay. Um, you're going to activate all your dudes in this phase, all and right. then I'm going to do all, all the dudes in mine. Okay. Then we're going to go to the clash phase. The clash phase, you're going to have different abilities. This is the clash phase is where you're going to start you're going to see all your damage rules okay so you're going to see all your damaging attacks and this is where it really gets nitty gritty okay um hmm, exciting for that one it's going to be a uh, you go I go style okay so, so you're, you're going to choose plot phase we all move our guys yep. and then the other person moves all their guys yep. and then in the clash phase clash phase that's when we're like okay back and forth. I activate you activate yep. back and forth and, okay. you, and it's, it basically goes by card so you, when you choose to activate you choose a champion or follower to do, and okay. then I will choose a champion or follower. Okay. As far as what to do in phases, you get two actions. Okay. And it can be any two actions on the card, and one of those could be moving. Okay. So, like, uh, for instance, the household guard that I have here in my mm -hmm. minions, they have a brace, yep. a march, and then they just have a shield wall ability. Mm -hmm. So your movement is one of the... On the bottom of that card, mm -hmm. you're going to see some some stats. Uh, Henry, maybe we should break the card down really quick oh, yeah, on stream. Course. Like, maybe uh, get it up on a camera. Yeah, there you go. Do we have a good, a good shot here? I think let's do it on the bigger camera. Yeah, yeah, I think this is probably a, better. Right, bigger window. So, so what's the first number, Henry? On uh, the very, very bottom, the very first number is how many hexes your that model can move. Back it up. What's that? Back it up. Back it up. Uh, okay. There you go. The very middle number, so the second one, if you're reading it from left to right, that is how many guys you get, right? That is, that is actually your dodge, right. or I apologize. Are you, that's a uh, follower card. Yeah, I'm looking at a, uh, yep. a champion oh, card. Yeah, so this is follower card. Yeah. yeah, follower card. The second number is how many models are supposed to be in that unit. So okay. you know how big your you, how many dudes you're supposed to be bringing. The third number is your dodge stat. So yep. that is the number your enemy is trying to reach in uh, dice pips to hit your hit that model. And yeah. The, the fourth number is your armor stat. So yep. that's how many uh, pips for damage that you remove effectively. So basically, that's how you're much damage you're to, soaking up. To hit defense, exceed armor. Yep. Okay. And then lastly is health. Uh, you'll see a lot of followers only have one health. Yep, makes sense. They're there to die. Okay. Uh, let's do a champion card real quick to walk over that, maybe. You get to hold one up now. <laughs> so for a champion card, it is effectively the same thing. But uh, the difference so, being, you have the movement. You have the movement. Uh, they have. There's a. There's always one. Always one. Yep. Well, for now. For, yeah, uh, they could totally change. Like I 100%. am not going to question these guys. They have yep. done some crazy stuff. And then you have dodge armor health. Yep. So it's the, it's the same. Um, your movement might change between phases. Yep. But your dodge and armor will stay the same. And your health. So like your defensive stats don't change in between phases, but your movement might. For example, uh, Rodri and the Dwarves, uh -huh. they're a lot slower in the plot phase than they are in the clash phase. Huh. Oddly enough, so is Rangosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah whereas, so there might be more whereas it's, maneuvering as It's the opposite for charging. me. Yeah. My guys are faster in the plot phase than they are in the clash phase. What? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. It is. So you can make any two actions that are on your card. Okay. So you get two actions. You get two things to do for a thing. It could be any one of these. Or it can be moving. If it is a champion, an additional thing you can do is place your banner. Uh huh. Or uh, stand back up. Or rally. We also recruit. We didn't talk yes. about that yet. Yes. Yes. Another hidden action from the the unit that is explained in the rule book is uh, recruiting. So there are always people willing to follow a champion in the battle. Yeah, these guys are huge badasses. Yep. Uh, so even if this unit is completely wiped out, you can. Uh, what the action does is allows you to place a new uh, follower model, any hex adjacent to the champion. 
So it allows you to regrow your forces. Okay. Right, because they're just minions, they die, yeah. they come yeah. back. They're part of your army. Uh, as I recall, though, there's like an ability that Rangosh has where he like eats his people and gets yeah. buffed up. They make them, they make them stronger. Of course. Mm. Okay, so uh, I can do two of the same action? No, that is, that is the one restriction. Okay. So I only can only do oh, okay, so yeah. like picking these guys. I'm going to do a march action. So yep, it's a self thing, and their move is just one. So they're just going to advance up oop, and yep. get knocked over. So you're up. marching to there, marching there, and then okay. what are they going to do? And oh, then don't uh, this guy here. he also oh, moves. They, they all activated. The, yeah, time. you're right. Yep. Okay, and then they will do a sh- brace. I guess that did is, they want to They could move. Oh, okay. So then they okay. So there's a march and a move. Yeah. So effectively, you can get two different. Oh, that, that's, okay. that's that's that is the thing that the dwarves have. The dwarves. Ah, okay. They're, uh, they're trundling buddies. Another thing is, while you can definitely keep them together like that, if mm-hmm. you want to, when they move, they don't all have to move into the same space. Yeah. So like, oh, okay. From, so we could have spread from out here. A little what bit. you could have done, it, like, going like there, but like this person could have come here. This person could have come here, and this person's like, oh, I'm gonna follow this buddy. Okay. Like, they, they all move independently. But it, it's just something to keep in mind. Yeah. Okay. Depending on what kind of heroes you're facing or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Or sometimes uh, you're trying to use... A lot of times minions are used as, like, blocking pieces. Because, uh, importantly, one of the big things is that minions can't walk yeah. over god tier. Nope. So nope. these uh, these hexes in the middle that the god tier... They can't like go there. Infinitely tall walls. That because they'd be destroyed. Yeah, like, they would and die. that's what it is, yeah. is. They're not strong enough to absorb the god tier, uh, so it just kills them. It's like radiation. So they're not yeah. going to go over there if they yeah. can't help it. Also yeah. importantly is that models cannot move through other models. Can, cannot move through other models. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's their... Uh, and I keep going with my... Yeah, my you know, through, Do I have to go with the hero for the war band? Nope. Or, nope. Okay, so I could just go over here with these guys yep. and... Oop, let me actually. I'm gonna look at their card. Hundred uh, percent. Also, the names for the abilities might be the best thing ever. Oh yeah, no, they're, they're they are very creative with their names. Like what? Uh, like Thug Life. Thug Life for the Red thug Bandits. Life. Okay. Which makes them because they're do thugs. better. Yeah, they are. Uh, okay, so. Um, I have the ability to induct, which is basically my reinforce ability. Is that what that so is? So it's, it's both. You can do okay. both. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you can recruit, and then because it's an, a special action to induct, you can do that as well. It'll call, it, that would be that would be your second action. But it's so not because, gonna be much good right now. Yeah. So what they've done is because Ringosh wants to eat his people to do better. They give you a way, a way to, to help back recruit back. your guys fast. Yeah, like everybody knows that when you fight for Rangosh, there's a chance he might just reach over and munch on you. Yeah. But there's so many people willing to follow him that he's got extra dudes just clamoring for the job. Yep. Wow. That's uh, that's a hell of a job fair they must have for that. <laughs> he, he has a recruiter of justice. Okay, so I've got a two move on my card. So the first action I'll do is go ahead and do this two move. Okay. Uh, bring them up here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I can't move again. I'm already at full strength. Is there anything else I can do with them? Uh, so don't forget to move these guys. Oh, of course. So one, two, all right. Yeah, so sometimes, like, all the skills won't be important. So, like, especially, like, in the plot phase, especially the first turn, Yeah. you might when just you're just move. trying to jockey for a position. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so they're done. Uh, we'll go ahead and go over to Rodri then. Mm-hmm. And he does have the march ability, so he'll move uh, the one. And then another move of one, so he'll do that. Totally. And then Ringosh. Ringosh has a, a few different options here. Uh, so I see that he can do an ability called Channel Range. Yep. Uh, what does that do for me? Uh, so importantly, it gives you the uh, the status effect Strengthen. So okay. there's a few different status effects in this game. Um, they basically affect your, your stats. Okay. So Strengthen will give you on your next damage dice roll, will give you an extra dice. Okay. Does that hang out between rounds, or is it? It, just it for... hangs out in between phases. Okay. So th- if you do it in the in this phase, it'll transfer over to the clash phase. Okay. But at the end of the turn, all buffs and debuffs will go away. Okay. So not much point doing it now because we're probably not going to see combat. Well, you might be able to get it with your bows, but uh, okay. Well, he's got a two move, so we'll do that for his first action. Yep. And then he's also got Break Spirit, uh, yep. which has a hit effect stun on it. Uh, I'm assuming uh-huh. he has to be within range. Yep, he has to be within certain range. Okay. Uh, so otherwise, I think he's done. Cool. So I will now go to my half of the plot face. 
Uh, so orcs, they're very simple-minded, typically. Yeah. Uh, How dare you? As, as such, the Unburnt Reavers have a special ability called Frenzy. I okay. mean, it says that I can make the same action twice. That said, I only have one other action than moving. Okay. So I'm going to move my Unburnt Reavers, which are my orc followers. So one, two, three. Holy cow. Yeah, they're pretty quick. Yeah. One, two, three. And, uh, well, the second ability doesn't affect me, so I'm just going to move again. One, two. One, two. So these are like a very effective jamming unit I've found playing oh, yeah. it with and against. I mean, like, they they also hit like trucks. they also hit like trucks. If you okay, know. but not so tricksy. Not, no, not so tricksy. Well, I mean, you they just showed you their trick. Yes. Oh, okay. their one and only. <laughs> it's trick. a good trick. Their one know. their one trick is that they can do the same action twice, which is amazing. I mean, they have done real good work for me in the past. Yes. Nice. All right. Uh, I'm excited black. to get killed by them. I'm gonna go black jaw. Uh, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. We're going to end with them two. We're sane. And what we're going to do is we're going to quicken. So we're going to use the ability Hot Foot. It has to be within two hexes. And Lorsane is going to gain the quicken status effect, which means the next time she moves, she can move one extra hex. Wow. I'm assuming elves are really slow in plotting. So <laughs> yes. I'm sure she won't uh, be moving far <laughs> at all. I am sure. Speaking of. I mean, Elrond never really left Rivendell, I think. So, I mean. Except the end. Except when he did, yeah. Right. All right. Twice. So, we're going to go with Lorsane. Never mind. Uh, we, we Never wanna, mind. We're gonna, okay. That's why you went to Tolkien school and I didn't. <laughs> we're going to go, we're going to get real into the mega thing. So she's going to move one, two, three is her base speed. So we get to move one extra hex because of the All right. So now that I've used it, the die's going to go away. The, the second you away. use okay. any sort of buff or debuff, yep. they go away. Okay. And then what she's going to do is... Pass her. No. She's, no, no, no. Plan she's, of she's going to strengthen. But oh. I think we're going to strengthen this this unit uh, of force uh, here. Okay. So now we got super choppy orcs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that leaves me with my other elves. So they're going to move. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And uh, they... One thing that I really like about this is different from a lot of miniatures game is there's no measuring tapes or, yes. or oh, it, it's, it's it's using I don't know if you can see it very clear on the camera but there are hexes on here that uh, you just it, count it your spaces very out. defined and it's very nice so they're going to use their ability blur so it's going to give them an, uh, the ability the the status evasion so okay. what that means is that the next uh, ability that targets them you have to get one extra pip to hit so it helps oh, okay. their dodge by one basically okay but that is my whole bunch of dodgy elves yep. So now that we're done with the plot phase, we will now proceed to the clash phase. Okay. So, uh, flip all your cards to clash. Yep. Remember, don't flip your champion, that second champion card. Don't flip that second champion card. Because you want to have your ult visible in case you want to use it. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Ooh, ults. We haven't talked about ults. We haven't gotten there yet, right? Yeah. So, ults are special actions that the champions can use. Short for yep. ultimates. Ultimate. Uh, okay. They get those once a game. Okay. And it um, does cost an action. It does cost an action. Okay. So it's very important to use them at the proper time, right? Yep. Like, this is just like any of those MOBAs where you're in that clash and you have that one chance to use that ult, right? And you can totally win or lose the game with a wrong ult. Yep. Okay. 100%. Um, but they are all very strong. They are. Uh, Rodri's is insanely good. Bannerfall, you may have a friendly champion... Uh, have any friendly champions whose banners are not on the battlefield make call banner actions in the order of your choice, mm -hmm. even if this, it is the clash phase. So this is like this is one of those this is one of those games where there's like a rule, and then there's always that caveat to that rule yep. that's like, hey, you can only place your banner in the plot phase. Caveat unless, unless you have you superpowers yeah. like Rodri. Yeah. Right? Like there's always that caveat to you can only move once. Oh, unless you're orcs, and then you can do it twice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but that's something to think about is that those are always there. Yep. Okay. Uh, and then Rangosh's ult is uh, a headlong charge. He I don't know what it's called. So what you're saying is But he just runs at somebody, he moves two squares, and then just does Automatic two automatic damage to them. Damage. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Basically one per horn. How much health does your uh, your big orc gentleman over there? My have? big orc gentleman has six health. Okay. So guaranteed two. That's not bad. Yep. No. How about your elfy lady? My elfy lady has five health. But oh. she's real hard to hit. She's really hard to hit. So oh, that's okay. one of the interesting things with Rangosh's ult. There is the automatic damage. Yep. 
bypasses both the armor and, like, because Rodri's got really high armor. Yeah. Uh, Lorsane is really hard to hit, yeah. but you bypass both of those mechanics because it's an automatic two points of damage. Mm. Uh-huh. Do you find it's better to use that as a finisher or as an engagement? I think it it depends. It depends uh, on Rangosh what you has set it up for. Yeah, yeah, and Rangosh hits super hard, right? Like, so if he wants to get in there and blow a, uh, if he wants to get in there and blow a, um, what's it? No, what's his what's his knockout punch that I can't remember the name of. Oh, Jawbreaker? A Jawbreaker, right? Like, Jawbreakers can get, like, seven or eight dice of damage. I think it's base seven. It's base seven, so yeah, you can I eat know. a guy I for eight. seven here next to Jawbreaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you, if you strengthen in the, yeah. in the plot phase, if you, you strengthen nine. and eat a guy, you can be at nine. Yeah, like, nine's seven. Um, and so he can just, like... So, like, getting your ult to get you there and mm-hmm. then throw nine dice of damage at somebody who's super easy to hit seems really good. And then you go, om nom, 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 nom. Uh, yeah. But uh, what do your ults do, Henry? Let's walk through those. All right. Uh, so Blackjaw has a very interesting ult. So Blackjaw's thing is that he really wants to eat, to to destroy these other guys, right? So much so that if I manage to destroy one, just this is just a natural ability. Yes. If I manage to destroy one, I get an extra action for free. Wow. So okay. I get to make three actions a turn if if I destroy a, a follower. So actually, being considered a maelstrom champion is kind of evocative. Yeah. Uh, especially for him. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Uh, he really, really likes chop, killing uh, chop, people. Chop. His ultimate as Avatar of Death. Is it spin to win? <laughs> so I get plus two dice to hit and okay. an extra dice on damage on any action. Yeah. So as an action. I use my ultimate, and I pick one of my actions, and I get to do it better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that can be really important, because, like, if you're trying to hit, like, Lorsane, who's got that five dodge, right? Like, that's... A lot of these abilities, even with, like, six or seven dice, can be really hard to hit a five sometimes. Yeah. And then Lorsane's ability is Mortal Blow. She is scanning the battlefields, waiting for her chance to put that arrow where it needs to go. She's going to stick it where the sun don't Yeah. Shine. So hers is... If an enemy champion within three hexes okay. has three or more wounds, immediately knock that champion out. Hmm. Yeah, right. so like just auto murder. Yep. Uh, real quick, Henry, yes. why don't we go through some of the dice that people are seeing? Because we've talked about how many pips you need and what oh, kind of yeah. numbers we're looking at. What we haven't done is talk about, because we are oh, we don't yeah. just have standard D6s. Yeah, you know? no, 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 no. So, so They've developed their own custom dice system. It's a D6, but uh, the faces are all different. So on the D6, you have one side that has two pips. Yep. So that is your crit. Yep. Kind of. Kind of. That's how you want to use it. There's only one result of it. There's only one of it. Yep. Okay. Half of the the faces, so three faces, are a single pip. Yep. Okay. And then you have two that are blank. So we have two blank. Yep. Three three ones. Yep. And one two. And one two. So probability dice. Yeah, and so what you're looking for usually is uh, the math on it says that whatever number you want to hit, you want kind of want one or two more. more. Yeah, dice, uh, and that's still not a guarantee, right? Like, yeah, we, no, 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 no. we had a game the other night where I rolled the <laughs> nine dice and got three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you jawbreakered someone and should have easily killed them, but only did. Yeah, I think you did a point of damage. I don't even think I did that. <laughs> you might, yeah, you might not even. I think I game. bounced because I think it was sad on Roger. times for uh, Rangosh. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Okay, so uh, yep. Turner, you still have your uh, first clash to go, correct? Yep, I do. Yes. All right. What's the plan? Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead. Now, is there any like tying up in combat? No. Nope. Like if okay, so you can if just there, walk away. Yeah. If there is a, a space for you to move, you are free to move in it, sir. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and activate Rodri first. Okay. And he's going to... He's got his march ability for two. So it the march ability is different. So moving is just Oh, moving. never mind. Yes. So, so march only moves him one, one hex. hex. Never mind. But so his speed does his speed is now two. to two in this phase. Okay. So he's just going to move then okay. to go up two. And then he's going to plant a banner. You cannot plant banners in this phase without casting your own. Yes. Oh, right. Okay. So like we said, so the only time you can plant a banner is in the plot phase. Outside which, of his ult. Outside of his ultimate, yeah. But it is, it is a very common like hiccup that a lot of people do when they first start playing this game. Hello. Like, oh, yes. I need to get up here and place a banner? I'm yeah. here. Can I place this banner? Yep. Yep. Or okay. like you'll want to use both of your actions to get there, and then you're like, I want to place my banner. 
Yeah. And you can't. Yeah. Okay, well, he's going to go and use his march for the second action okay. and then sit on the god tier. All right. That's a good place to be because you can't place a banner there or do anything about it. And you're in a good position next turn to walk over another one if Henry somehow manages to get one placed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting options here. So now because we are in the clash phase, I did my action, now it's back yep. to you. Exactly. Uh, another important thing to notice, I mean, go ahead and keep going. I'm just going to talk yep. over your turn a little bit, Henry. Is there are quite a few abilities that allow you to move other people's models. Uh, Rangosh can hit people with his whip and pull them in closer. Or uh, if you knock if you knock out an enemy champion, you actually are allowed to move them two spaces. So there's no guarantee you're always going to be where you want to be. You have to go um, flying backwards in slow motion. Yeah, very yeah. dramatic. But yeah. it, it, the other part of that is it's and not the always game, backwards. Yeah. And oh really? I mean, it's two in any direction. Hopefully, in the next game, uh, we'll see. Uh, Dawson's going to use a champion that loves moving around. Though. Yeah, he, it's all he oh, does. Oh, is this is the uh, lizard guy? Wraith Marid. Yeah. yeah. He is probably my... I, I can't call him my favorite because Rangosh is way too cool for him to be... <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Wraith is definitely my second favorite. All right. So... Cool. Although well, I'm yeah, excited to moved. see Half Tusk I am as well. Him, yeah. So we moved... Uh, our this Wood Rangers are going to fire, so I have to target that model within three hexes. So these are going to target Rodri. Okay. Alright. So reading the card, fire within range three. Yep, I have two dudes. So if you'll see on your skill, it mm -hmm. kind of like has three levels to it for your followers. And so basically for each person you have in that hex, it goes up. So yep. Got it in one. Got it in one. I, I do remember hearing that before. Yep. So. so I've got two, so it is four dice to hits. Okay. What is the dodge for Senior Rodri? Probably non existent. Or two. Two? All right. I mean, two's still pretty good. Yep. Uh, so I'm actually surprised. Got, got plenty. Uh, I don't think I can block that. No, there's no, no, so there's there no are block. no defensive dice rolls in this game. Oh, nope. never mind. Okay. So now I'm going to fire. So I get five dice on damage. I roll two, four, six pips. Okay, and my armor is four. So. How this works, so I've rolled six pips, your armor is four, so mm -hmm. we will take those out of the equation, and I'm left with two pips, so you will okay. take two damage. Okay, so, and that's these little red cubes. And those yep. are those handy little red cubes. Do we typically put them next to the model? No, the it, that, that would get too crowded, you I think, can. putting them on well, the... It, it, it really crowds up the, 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 the space, so it's okay. a lot easier to just place it on the card. Uh, yeah, it's one of the things, like, uh, the big dice significant, signifying... The uh, buffs or debuffs is really easy to work around. Okay. But if you were to start laying all those little cubes around, I think it might be different. Especially like moving around would be hard. Plus, on the on the card, you can always compare the amount of uh, cubes to your actual health. Yeah. Which I think is super helpful. Oh, it's James. Oh. Jimmy James. Hi, Jimmy James. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. All right. So that was my activation. So now it's back to you for an activation, sir. Okay. Um, I want to... Did your elves go, or...? They did. They shot Rodri and did two damage. Oh, and you have dodge up. Okay. I have dodge. I was okay. trying to figure out the, uh, the, 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 the buff there. that you had up. I think Rangosh wants to go. Reasonably so. As he do. Uh, so as he do. I want to uh -huh. move up uh -huh. and kill all these guys, especially the one with the buff dice. Well, the whole unit is buffed. Right. So, so oh, I put this oh out here. right, okay. Yeah, so I put this out here. Basically, if a unit has a dice, it applies to everybody, everybody in the unit. Okay. Um, so the interesting thing... But, the, but when it's used, it's gone. Yeah, when it's used, it's gone. Okay. So the interesting thing with uh, attacking models, especially like multiple models in Hex, is that you can only, for the most part, the typical scenario is you can only target one model. Okay. So Ringash will come in, and he will attack a model. Okay. Maelstrom's kind of work around this rule. So like, Blackjaw has an ability, uh, Fireball. The skill may target up to three models in one hex. Oh, okay. So like he comes in, he throws a Fireball at this unit, and I get to make an attack roll against. Okay, all so of these he models. is a single target assassin type. Guy. Yep. Okay. Whereas he is just whipping his axe back and forth. Yeah. And uh, just killing people left and right. Okay. So let me recalibrate my expectations, and I think what I might want to do then is. Sure. Hmm. 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 How about this? Well, let's get aggressive. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Um, eating a guy, mm -hmm. as per his ability, mm -hmm. uh, which is, is it on the card here? Yes, it is at the very bottom. Brutal Master. Okay. 
Before Rangrash makes a die roll, you may remove one red bandit from a hex within three hexes to mm -hmm. add one die to the roll. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to go with him because I need to stage my guys a little bit better. Um, yeah, and that was a recent change they made to him. Like, he used okay. to be able to just eat him from anywhere on the table. It was so I mean, good. It makes it sense. So good. You just reach back across the table and... Yeah. Right, man. Crack open a cold one with the boys. Indeed. But they are the boys. Crack open a boys with a cold one? There you go. I have crunch. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. I want to... Sorry if I'm taking That's some time here. No, it's totally understandable. Um, there are a uh, lot of lines of plays in this game, which yeah. I like. No. Okay, so Thug Life. Uh, <laughs> okay, Red, uh, Dirty Thieves, Red Bandits move the turn token plus one step for Conquer, Champion Knockout. So if they kill a champion, they get to get an extra point off of it? Yes. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to... So they have an ability called Shoot, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, looks like Turner, it's... Yes, sir. I have a request from Stream. Okay. Uh, I'm being requested to tell you that you are bad at the game, sir. I am bad at the game, but then again, this is my first time playing. Yes. Uh, so I, I think it would be unreasonable to expect I, me to be good I agree at wholeheartedly. I am simply bowing to the wishes uh, of I have a feeling that that's Mr. Uh, Sean Peachin. I, at, at uh, hey, got okay, it. Uh, good baby. baby. <laughs> Thank you, longtime fan of the uh, the stream, Mr. Sean. I mean, he's definitely a follower of your podcast as well, correct? Yes, that is correct. Uh, he should unsubscribe, though. <laughs> we don't want him getting good, you know. Oh, off of our, you know. We yeah. Well, maybe he'll, get, maybe he'll watch this and get good at God tier. Oh, uh, I mean, weirder things have happened, right? Maybe I'll get done. good. Even he said he's done. Okay. Right. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, okay. So, activating these guys, yep. I'm going to go ahead and move them. The They can go up to two. Uh -huh. uh, and everybody moves two. Yep. Right? Yep. Yeah. Everybody yeah. does. But um, the thing to remember here is that not everybody's going to attack if you want to attack yes. with them. So, you, so, when you use the skill, you choose a model to be the target of the skill. Okay. Right? So, like, these guys are going to shoot. Yes. Well, which model's going to shoot? Uh, this guy's going to shoot. Cool. Who's he going to shoot? He's going to shoot that guy. So one, two, three, we're just out okay, of this Okay, so this they could have moved too, so I'm yep. going to do that now, retroactively. Awesome. That's that's how you learn games, is by cheating at them. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know? Bold, bold strategy. Yeah. All right, so one, two, we're, we're within range. What do you mean those swords? So now we check how many models, how many other bros <laughs> are helping him out. Uh, so he's got, so he's got all three. So he's yep. got all three. So we're yep. going to that very bottom level. So it looks like five dice doing four damage. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. So you are looking to get three pips. Three me. pips, yep. They are, they are not dodge friendly. You hit me. It definitely okay. does. I got five pips there total. Yep. So now what is the damage dice for them? Uh, it, it's a four. Four. Shoot. All right, so you're going to roll four dice for damage. And what is your uh, armor? They are armor three. Okay, so I need to do five to wipe you, them out. So you need... No, you kill one. Yeah. Oh, so I need to do six to wipe them out. No, you. you oh, kill one. so you got to overcome the armor for each individual. No, you kill. So you're one. only targeting one model, like oh. I said. Oh, uh, so I can't just volley fire on my bows? Uh, no, no. He okay. he he actually cannot. Uh, Blackjaw on the so, other so hand. So you're looking for five pips to kill them all. Okay, well here we go. It's still good. Or sorry, you're looking for four pips. You, you're still going to get a point at yeah. the very least. If at you the very kill least, if you kill oh, them, okay. You get well, that's good. Uh, so uh, that did not happen. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that, I only got two pips so there, which is not pips, enough so to not break the armor. Exactly. Okay. And that is my second action, so I'm right. done. I don't for, get to for attack for these guys. guys. Nope. Nope. Okay. So there you go. Minions are really good in what they do, right? They can jam. They yeah, can do damage to champions. Okay. They can do all kinds of cool stuff. They can buff your champions. Mm -hmm. uh, they can move guys around. I could definitely see wanting to have a Maelstrom type hero mm -hmm. on your team mm -hmm. for a full game that uh, can just kind of clear the path for your for your slave. I'm guys sure you're about that. to see that pretty soon here. Yeah, actually. I know. Uh, Henry, didn't you know I'm supposed to win the demo game? <laughs> no, no, no. Of course. Uh, I, <laughs> I mean, no. Right. What? So what, what are we what are we doing, Henry? Uh, uh, let's get these orcs into battle here, shall we? Uh, we're gonna move. We're gonna move. So we only move two. Okay. Because they get slower in this phase. We get a little slower. In this phase. We're gonna split these guys up. And uh, these two guys, we're gonna attack with a group of, group of bros here. Okay. So cleaving strike. 
Two dudes, so I get four dice to hit. What is your dodge, sir? Uh, so for the Red Bandits, their dodge is a three. All right, so I need three pips, and I just get it. Hey. Oh, yeah, you do. All right, so now I'm rolling five dice on damage. What okay. is your armor, sir? Armor of two. They have very armor fancy scarves that are defensive. In I need to beat two pips. I got three. You got it. Okay, so that's... So uh, I killed one person. One bro. One, one guy. So no matter how many pips I rolled on that dice, I was only going to kill one I can't person. do something crazy like pull one from... No. Him. Nope. Okay. Because so he targeted one. that so hex. I target this hex specifically, so okay. a model from their city. So well, I, Captain Backpack is going to sit yep. over here then. Captain so I killed a fo uh, follower. What did you mean? So okay. it so scores me <gasps> one thing. Son of a Which so shifted on over to your side, right? Oh, yep. oh back to the webway. Uh, and that is their turn. Okay. Um, you're right, so my little household guard guys, they can move one, two, yep. uh, and one, two, but I think all of their stuff is pretty short range, yeah? It is. It is. They, they, they are... Swords and shields. Okay. They so. are incredibly hard to remove, they are. but they are incredibly slow to get to the place they need one, to be removed two. from. And then they will take a march action to go up here. Don't forget to move this yeah, and then before you take that action. Oh, yeah. gotcha. So one, two. Yep. And then, uh, and then, then you march. chose to march. Yes. So then, then this guy then. needs to move one more. If you so choose. Okay. So the ability is like march spread to everybody. But if yep. you're doing an attack, it's only for that one. Yep. Yep. Okay. Basically, it's anything that's not an attack. Yeah. Okay. So I'm left with my two champions. Uh, it it, it feels like it's going to be counterintuitive, okay. uh, and it it Blackjack. starts that way, but very quickly it becomes. Yeah, no, really I'm easy. starting to see it yeah. now. So Blackjack's going to come up here. Uh, Blackjack doesn't have anything in range actually. So Blackjack's just going to yeah, sit there. Yeah, stay back there, Blackjack. Yeah, he's just going to sit there. He's scared. I forgot to do that. Yep. Interesting. Oh, remember your, your status effects. Remember oh, status yeah, effects. yeah. Uh, I remember mean, there's, there's dice on the oh, board. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, let's yeah. talk about that. So you forgot to do it. Why yep. did you pull it off? Why didn't it stay to next turn? Because I made a damage roll. So we forgot to have the pip. Yep. Let's say we hadn't made a damage roll. Uh, I think what I'm, what I'm getting at is that status effects fall off at the end of the round. They do. They, okay. they fall off at the end of the so round. You, so if you forget to use it, then... Yeah. Like, Too bad. Uh, he, try it again next turn. We have that Too dodge that's going to fall off. It will. Uh, okay. okay, so that was Black Jaw. It's yep. uh, your turn, Turner. Okay. The um, last one we have left is Rangosh. Yeah, Senor Rangosh. Senor. Hmm. So he's move? got a three move. He does. He gets places. One, two, three. And then he ults. Ah, and then knocks that guy over. So alternatively, Rangosh has got that big old chain, right? Yeah. Has it got range on it? He, it, it it's got it's a little range. range. It's got range too. Oh, okay. it'll, it'll get over some people. Sweet. But we are currently losing this turn. So what if we tried to win this turn? Okay, so I would need to kill one of your guys. Yep. Any so what I'm going to do is move one, two, three. He's okay. so big and heavy. Yep. Can't wait for the always, to come always in. the game of how to position <laughs> Rangosh on the table. How do you? I mean, those those horns yeah. demand. Yeah, you know, his new sculpt's stuff. amazing because it's more vertical. It is. Uh, I I still love that old sculpt because oh, it's such yeah. an ashy. It, it's a collector's item now. It, so I it is such fully intend to have one as a collector's item. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome very much. Okay, uh, so he's gonna whip his whip back and forth. Uh, whip my hair back and forth. Yeah, sounds good. How many dice we roll on the head? That's an X. Uh, whiplash. So range to five dice. Five right. of my finest dice. Now, is this real important to you? I mean, Cause here, yeah, because I want to score the round. Here's where Rangosh gets interesting, right? Oh, right, because I moved up my guys because I wanted to go... Now, he can do it for hit or damage. Or and, and damage. And or, yeah. yeah. Ooh, okay. So, so you what's, what's your dodge on this guy? There are three. There are three, okay. So what and I will then say, what's your armor? Three. Okay, so three is either way. Yep. So what I'll say is nice as a, like, turn, like, winning turns are important. Like, win, winning turns is how you win the game. Yep. You score points. Each turn, however, is something we didn't discuss. Oh, yeah, we didn't talk Each about this. Each turn is worth a different number of points. Right, because the early uh, turns of the game don't yep. score as so, much. So how do we know what turn is what worth points? Uh, it's on the back. So this first turn is worth one point. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Turn, turn two is going to be worth two points. Because basically at the end of the turn, if it's on my side, I just take this and yep. kill my yep. score. Yep. Yep. Super simple. Oh, okay. Awesome. Uh, turn now, two is worth two points. But turn three is where it gets exciting. That's worth three points. 
So turn four is going to be worth four. No, 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 no. Then it starts going turn back four, down. Yeah, then it turn okay. four is worth two points. Okay. And, and then, then last then. turn. If you manage to get to the last turn, then you are both at four wins and four. So. Yeah. Oh, okay, because at the end, as soon as you hit so. five, yeah. you're done. So, it Tur okay. turns out that math will require us to get to certain places. Mm, yep. Don't you challenge me with your facts, sir. So it's nice that this game, at the most, only go to, only go to five turns. Okay, yep. so it plays pretty quick. Pretty quick. Sounds, it can uh, be, if yeah. you're not just fumbling the rules. I'm, I'm going to guess that each uh, full game is probably going to be about an hour long. Okay, uh, yeah, I can see when you've got three full factions yep. and everything going on and synergies and... Actions back and forth. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. All yeah. right, uh, so I want Rangash to go. I don't think he's going to need to eat somebody. I'm feeling pretty pretty spicy okay. on these dice since I only need math three. is definitely on your side. Three, yeah. uh, but because your armor is four, my armor is only three. So you need three, but I need four to yeah. do something. Yep, yep. So so if I eat a guy now, uh, no. I can... So you eat it before the dice roll. Okay. So if you eat a person now, you're buffing the hit roll. Ah, okay. So it's not just one I can spend later. Okay, yep. okay. So we'll just let it roll here. Yep. All right. And see if we get lucky. How'd we do? Uh, we, go. we got four. Got four. Bits. Got four. Okay. I like so it. So we definitely hit. A double and two singletons. Uh, okay, and now he will... Uh, hey, Larry, remember that five? Oh, no, no. He's going to eat him. Yep. And then... It's always Larry's fault. Yeah, no. Get, get eaten, yep. Larry, because he's within range three yep. there. So now he gets an extra dice, yep. so it brings him up to six. Yep. And I need a four to cause a wound. You need yeah. four, yep. Okay. Now, you don't score points for me eating my own guys, right? Nope. Okay. Okay. That, I, mean, I, that I would be not counter, as good. yeah. Good question, but yeah. Just, just thought I'd throw it. One, two, three, four. Okay. We got there. We got there. Thankfully, <laughs> we ate the guy. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, you're a slayer, but you didn't slay a champion, so you only get the one point. But that's all you need to score the round, right? For or now. He still does left? have a champion left. I still have one champion. Oh, no. Because you went first, he always has an activation. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. But we're saying she wants those juicy targets. Yeah. yeah. Like, I so think he's this... probably... So here's one of the things is because of the way the turns are structured, right? At 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Mm -hmm. uh, winning the first turn isn't always the most important thing in the world. No, but it's nice if you can just it's get all It's super really good. 100%. Okay. Like, you always... Hey, look, if I can be up points, I want to be up points. Yep. Sure. So, we're saying is going to... And if you're going to be behind on points, load your last activation with yeah. the guy, the, the gal with the super bow and Legos, yeah. Legolas-like accuracy yep. is probably where you want to be. So, Rangosh has a pretty high dodge, right? Yeah, four? Yep. Four dodge? Yes, sir. All right. So, we're going we're gonna to use our ability Snipe. So, it's range three. Rangosh is in the three. And it is eight dice to hit. Okay. So Without any buffs, by the yep. way. Yep. And this is where Henry is playing to the demo. Thank you, Henry. I appreciate it, bud. One, two, three, four, five. A hit. Okay. Yeah. But it's not going to be enough to kill Rengar. So well, it depends. depends. We talked about that ult earlier. Yeah. Oh, we? okay. Never mind. Maybe he's not, you know, hitting the kitty so, breaks So the, the exchange for uh -huh. having so many dice to hit is I only get four dice to damage. But, oh, okay. uh, oh you were quickened. That's I was quickened, you had. Yeah. Okay. okay. I've got one whole armor here. One whole. So you're going to get one pip here. Did we get so there? So you will take one wound. Oh. Uh, basically, you Rangosh just got, ain't got no armor. You, no. No, but well, he has got eight health, I guess. Yeah. Here's the thing. You just got real lucky because he could have just spiked out and killed you. Well, four, I will count myself lucky. You, you, four, hit, six, eight. you hit three and I will ult. be grateful as oh, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. come over. Like three and ult. Yeah. You win the... Yeah, then I range up to ten. Yeah. It, yeah, it gives you a lot of extra signs. So Lorsane has a special ability where every time she causes a wound, she gets two uh, to scoop. So, a little shoot and scoop. A little shoot and scoop. And then we're going to piercing shot Rodri. Wait, she gets another attack? Yeah, because she so didn't move. I didn't, I didn't make it. So my only oh, action I've done this turn. Oh, you've got allows you to do yeah. that. Yeah, ah. so the only action I've done this turn is shoot you. Uh, well, so you Part know how Rengosh's special ability allows him to eat a guy? Yeah. Her it's special ability is if she deals a damage to you, she gets to move. She does that. I get scoop. to move one hex. Okay, so that doesn't cost you an action. Nope. So and now I'm the, going to yeah. shoot him. So, if Rangosh is in clash phase and he's next to somebody, he could just jawbreak or whiplash. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, or you could okay. whiplash them in and then. So that's how you them. kill multiple people with regular with yep. the non males. Yep. Chain. Yep. So, okay. Cool. Very mm -hmm. cool. So this one a little less accurate. I'm only gonna roll five dice. <laughs> only five dice. <laughs> Lord staying real good. So I rolled four pips. So I will hit Rotary. I love the sculpts on those too. They yeah. look so good. So what this one does is special hit effect. Target gains one wound. 
And just take a damage. On Rodri. On Rodri. Okay. Rodri takes one damage. Well, he'll take one damage. And I don't make a damage up. Roll. Okay, so he's already down to four health left out of his seven. Oh, the elf shot him. The elf shot him and did really, yeah, really well. Yeah, it did good. <laughs> Uh, so damage. damage. Uh, we don't want to like accidentally get hit by anything. He shield. was using the shield as a sunshade, and yeah. uh, was, oh, arrows. Well, Oops. he was more worried about the big elf. Okay. So I'm done. So that's and, the end of I the mean, turn. You know what they say about dwarves? They're sprinters, not marathon runners. No, oh, yeah. No, it was yeah. a long run. Very dangerous over short distances. Yeah. yeah. So end um, of the turn. Okay. The turn marker is on your side of the line, sir. So you have won. Yes. This turn. Victory! I win the game! Uh, no. Oh, well, this one round. Yep. Yeah. Awesome, so I flip that over, I've got one yep. VPs. Yeah. So now we'll nice. go to turn two. And this one is worth two, as we yep. said earlier. Yeah. There you go. So all buffs and debuffs are going to go away. Looking. So and since three. you won the turn, it starts on Henry's yes. side. <gasps> so all debuffs and debuffs are going to go me. away. Yeah. So they lose their dodge. Okay. So what's awesome about Godseer is that the scenarios that there's multiple scenarios. Okay. So we we're playing a very uh, basic one. I basic think. one. Yeah. yeah. It, it's it's also very like For centered. Me, it's, sure. it's it's very centered. It so this is more of a this is more of like a fighter scenario. The cool thing is, is that they managed to take a very scenario based game and still add add in some scenarios yeah. that are going to be based more on like fighting. Yep. Okay. Right. Uh, and this isn't like some of them. You have so much stuff spread out. It's very easy to score. So like I said, uh, these are the essences of the gods. Yes. For this particular one, this is the essence of the god of life. Gods are hexagons of wood. So what happens is the loser space. is going to roll a dice, and I'm going to add two hexes plus okay. whatever I roll on this dice. Oh, wow. Okay, so... So I'm spreading. going to add three hexes to the battlefield. Anywhere he... Ch so, but they can't just be out in the middle of nowhere. Now, yep. can you put them... Because the champion guys are supposed to, like, die if they walk into that. Can you just, like, no, hop under there? No. So the, okay. the caveat is that it has to be an empty hex. Ooh, okay. And it has to be touching another one. Yes. Okay. So it kind of spreads, right? It grows out. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to make sure... That He's going to put, put one right, right next to us. your direction. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't want this guy getting too close, so I'm going to... Block his path a little so bit. So here's some here's where it starts to get even more tactical, right? Like now he's blocking off some of your movements of your minions yep. or your warbands okay. so that he can make it so you can't walk yeah. over there, right? Like he just made it so you can't charge Blackjaw this turn with those guys. Oh, uh, yeah. okay, because you want you screen them off because they're like, hey man, radiation burns. I don't yep, wanna... exactly. I want to have chitlins. But all the ones are different. Um, hopefully me and Dawson will play in a... a play, we're we're going to definitely play a different one. one. Yeah. You guys uh, are going to Iron Man of, random one yeah. out? Yep. Yeah. Oh, nice. There's one okay. that shrinks. Yep. So the god, we take god tiers off the table. Yep. Oh, wow. Uh, there's one where they can move all... So the, what happens if your banner's out there on a god tier and it disappears? It goes away. <gasps> well, the banners go well, away. the banners go away at the end of the turn. At the end of the turn. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Makes sense. Exciting. All right. All right. Uh, Henry, you go first. So we're going to go back to the place. Flip and Z. Yeah. Flippy, flippy. Slot phase. So, luckfully... Luckfully. You, you don't need to flip that one. The, right. uh, That's the, the god tier spread oh, right, to, right to Lorsane. So Lorsane can take her first action to, to plant her flag. Because it, it was just right there. So you're going to get a point. Okay, so you don't point. need to be standing on the god tier to nope. plant the flag. No, nope. in, in fact, you, in you, fact, can't you can't bonk. plant on the one you're standing on. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, interesting. Um, so I'm going to plant my flag. Then what we're going to do is wow. how colonial strengthen. I'm gonna strengthen myself. I think I think we're. You strengthen me. I think we're saying he's gonna try and kill someone today. So that is we've that, all had days that is, like that. That's an interesting thing. Like you could strengthen me. Well, before each thing for a thing, it, there's mm -hmm. these these few little acronyms. So okay. like field instruction, which is the one that first strengthen. It, okay. FR. So FR is friendly. So I can only ever strengthen friendly models. Ah, okay. Yep. And then I see self and yep. then spec, which is so special. So it applies okay. to a very special thing. So the one for Rodri is things. he gets to target a follower unit within three, and okay. they get to immediately make a recruit action, which is really good. So you can yeah. like so like Rodri can target this guy, mm -hmm. and they make a recruit action. Oh, okay. So uh, there's actually some that, synergy back and forth. That's something to talk about too. Is that there's no like line of sight. Yeah, there's no line of sight. Okay. Okay. Uh, so like, just because Rangosh's big fat head is in the way, doesn't change anything. Yeah. Gotcha. But um, you can't see through models. Is that you what totally you're can? Totally, oh, you, you can. can. You just okay. can't move through them. You can't move uh, through models. Oh, okay. Uh, 
and that's what makes that's one of the things that actually makes Lorsane so good. Yeah, hmm. she's great. And Blackjaw. Yeah. And Blackjaw. Uh, I'm gonna go with her elf friends. They are going to move a little. They don't like being so close. But, uh, hey, uh, everybody that might be coming in light, welcome to the stream. We're looking at uh, Steamforge's new game, uh, God Tier, which is a uh, miniature board game, uh, beat 'em up, MOBA style. Uh, fun time. Uh, Henry's taking me through, uh, basically introducing me to the game, teaching me how yep. to play, and then uh, as soon as we're done, uh, him and Dawson are going to play a game and show yep. us how it's really done. Uh, so somebody just said hi, Matt. Hello. What up? Uh, I don't recognize joining. there. Lindsay says, I thought I heard him. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Jeff. How's it going, bud? There you go. So, Roger's armor is a big problem. So, luckily, I can... Uh, Get rid of some of it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use the ability Fairy Fire. So it is within range two. So Roger is within range That's two. That's funny. And I have two people, so I'm going to get four dice to try and hit your dodge two. Yes. And I roll three pips. Never mind. So now you suffer the minus armor debuff. So uh, this is something to talk about real quick. Yep. Uh, debuffs are really bad. Uh, and buffs are really good. Yes. But how do we get rid of them? So the, the ways to get rid of them is A... Have your have that fat or stat be uh, like in the game for some reason. So like, if I make an attack roll, uh -huh. your deep, that debuff goes away after the roll. Yeah. So if if he makes an attack roll at you, like uh, actually if he makes a damage a roll, damage at roll. You. For, in this instance, it's a damage roll. So okay. the first damage roll is gonna have this debuff. It's gonna. But any, and that's that's armor. the most common way yeah, to get rid of it. But any subsequent ones are are gonna be without uh, against your normal. The other way is that uh, buffs and debuffs actually cancel each other out. Yeah. So if uh, you okay. ever so like plus little... armor, which, which I don't I'm think looking you can, now. I don't. Yeah, Rodri would never plus no. armor. No. <laughs> <laughs> These would completely cancel out. Yep. Oh wow. So so what I've done here is I've set myself up. So you can use an action to get rid of the debuff, or I'm going to hit you a little harder. One of the big things to look at in this game is because we know for, here's the deal is, no matter what, uh -huh. you get basically a to minus extra actions or anything like that, okay. you only get about 20 activations a game. Yep. At X. X. At, at okay. X. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I get you. some guys some, can get more. Blackjaw can start ratcheting up those numbers. Galana's another one. Galana. Um, like, but for the most part, think of it like we have 20 activations. So the amount of yep. activations you use is definitely a resource. Yep. Oh, yeah. No, act uh, that's a big part, actually, like Star Wars Legion. Uh, you usually only have about 12 actions you can take with yep. each individual unit yep. over the course of the game. Uh, I'm so gonna that makes perfect sense. Blackjaw. Blackjaw sees some very delectable humans he can go You bother. stay away. I don't like you with your big axe. So he decides he, he needs to up. get over there real quick. So he's going to speed himself up. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Because he wasn't fast enough. He's got to nope. lace up those Nikes. Got to really lace them up. Yep. And then I have these orcs. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to recruit. So I will place a model that has been knocked out. Okay. And I will place it within an adjacent hex. Wow. So Ig and Uke over here are pretty much screwed. Is what it's looking I like have right now. Set uh, them up. Oh, oh. Blackshot got up in there. Oh, yes, he did. Rosen he saw some delicious stir. humans. Are dead. Mm. So what's he going to do? Uh, so I'll, he, what he did is he, speed, he sped up, and then he moved. Oh, okay. To, just to make sure he can get over there to get himself in a good position. Yeah. Uh, orcs have recruited, so we put this dude here. Now they get one more action. Uh, I'm like moving. I am actually going to move. So I'm going to move. I'm going to move these guys. Now, can you destroy a banner? Okay. You can actually. You walk over it. All you have to oh. do is walk on it. So, uh, oh, this fun. is going to show you some very simple things. One, what does that mean? It means that warbands can't destroy banners. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it can only ever be on Godfear. Yeah, it's got to be a champion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and two, uh, champions can do it. Uh, there are another couple of ways. Uh, one of the guys we don't have in the game, Wraith Marid, can pick a banner up and throw it off a god deer. Yep. No. <laughs> and then the other one that we, that we have rules for, but not models for, is a uh, Morn Blade. Yeah. He can move his banner. Yep. He's got little feet on it. Runs around. Uh, he kind of like 
turns it into shadow. Pretty and sure it like teleports it. Oh, that's, that's much that, cooler. Okay, yeah, 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 that's, yeah. that's better. Well, that's, 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 that's how I imagine the blade. I was actually thinking yeah. that it was like a little skeleton. Oh yeah, and like yeah. he plants the <laughs> spine in the ground. And then he's like, let's go, because Mornblade's like the undead skeleton guy. Oh, that's dope. So we, and then he's like, oh, skeleton bait are here, and it like wakes up and runs over. Oh, that's actually sweeter. Yeah. Okay, because you get so a little bit of the money and a little bit of the creepy. Done. You're done with your plot. Okay, let's jump okay. into mine. Uh, so I've got uh, Rotary here, and I've got some things I know I want to do this turn. Okay. Um, so I think first off we're going to answer the call. Onto these guys, mm-hmm. which is up to range three, it looks like. Yep. So they get to make a recruit action. Yes. How awesome. many guys do I get with that? You get one. One. You get one model. And it's got to go next to action. him, or it has to go base to base with Rangosh. Yep. Ah, okay. So they'll just he'll just join that little totally. stack there. Hundred percent. Okay, and then he will make a move. Okay. And just go up here. I okay. think Ooh. is what I will do. Getting up in there with Rogue. Yeah, yeah he's 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 tired of your sass. Understandable. He's he's a grumpy dwarf. He don't want none. He, he, he don't want none. God, I'm just excited to see all the heroes that are potentially coming out. For oh, yeah, man. Uh, it's definitely like, and the cool thing is, is that none of them have been the same. No, we we have They're seen so fourteen, and. There's a little goblin guy too, yeah, right? Sneaky Pete. Oh, God. Sneaky oh, Pete takes the phases and flips them. He yeah. does more damage in the plot phase and then sets himself up in the clash phase. Also, uh, Lorsan is this dodgy, like hard to hit badass. And who Sneaky, Sneaky Pete, Pete goes murder. Don't care. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, straight murder. Or or you get like Grimshala, who yeah. is this giant, fat, nasty lady who rolls places. Like she doesn't have a movement stat. She has a. She just has rolls an ability three squares. That roll. Wow, yeah. that sounds fun. <laughs> um, Where is she from? Walmart? No, she actually oh. used to be. <laughs> no, well, kind of, because she's that like incredibly beautiful girl who then decided that eating was the way to feel better about oh, life. That's and then she started eating god tears, and then and her that's, true, yeah, yeah. Her true personality. She was came ugly forth. on the inside. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kind of like my ex. Oh, oh, wow, jeez, everybody's got beef tonight. <laughs> Am I the only one being civil here? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm being civil to the people that I'm hanging out with so far. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Specifically, Henry, so far. Yeah. World, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, since they're already maxed, they can't really reinforce. Uh, is there anything else I could do other than... For these guys, so you, them so actually, you moved them, right? Uh, yeah. So, they they, one. so what you can actually do is you can actually give them armor. Oh. Yeah, okay. They reinforce themselves, right. right? So reinforce... So that shield wall is an action? Uh, it's not shield wall. Oh. Uh, it's a... Uh, no. Oh, Grace. Grace. So Brace gives you the reinforce stat, which is extra armor. Oh, okay. I thought that and was like an just extra to them? dude back. Uh, What's up? Is it just to them? It says it's self. To the, it's okay. so, yeah. yeah, it's self. I was just checking. No, I appreciate it. Uh, importantly, you. this guy, this guy's going to be a real pain. Yeah. So their base armor four. Mm-hmm. This buff is going to make the next one five. And if he's next to Rodri, he gets an extra armor because of their ability. So this single model is armor six. Which is the highest armor, Which is the highest highest armor in the game. Yeah. Yes. I totally planned it that yes, way. Yes, these guys can be exceptionally hard to take off the table. Yep. Okay. So going I mean, now over unless to of course you hit them with the thing that's just the red band Um let's see, they're going to Oh, holy cow. I just read something here that seems really good. I think so you read ambush. I think I, think I read, read ambush, ambush just now. So hit effect, the target gains one wound. Boom. So they so get an a- they actually get an attack in, in the, the plot phase. Plot yeah. phase. Yep. So they're ambushing. Yeah. I get it. They I are one it. of the few models that can do that. Yep. Okay. Well, I think what I'm going to do first is go ahead and induct to get this guy on the table to add to their chances for them now to ambush. Uh, what's the range on ambush? Just one? So one it's got to be these guys right here. Totally. Okay. So ambushing with uh, three dudes gives me five dice. That right, sounds fantastic. Off. I'm a big fan. And what do I need to hit? Three. Three? All right. Come on, three. Easy three. You oh, easy. Oh, easy. yeah. So that I'll was take fantastic. Take a dude off. You kill the follower. So you get to move one step. Aha! It's closer to my side now. So oh. that was their two actions. We, so That's their two actions. We, and they just right? Onto uh, old, old Bangarang here. Bangarang. That Rufio. <laughs> Uh, oh. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so he can strengthen. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. So strength will give you an extra damage dice. Okay. On your next hit. That's how we get to that nine damage break dice. Oh. Breaker. So okay. it affects stun. Tell yep. me about stun. So stun reduces the model's dodge. So what it does, well, it, it doesn't. Remove. It gives you a minus. It gives it you a minus actually. one to your dodge, basically. Yeah, it gives you a minus one to dodge. Oh, okay. So this is all like plus one, minus one kind of debuffs mm -hmm. for the most part, from what we've seen. Yeah. Uh, you can reduce like speeds. You can reduce armor. You can reduce dodge. Yep. Uh, but that one is huge. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of like it. So from what you've seen, it feels like you're going to get nickel and dimed, and that's not actually true. No. Okay. So he's going to break spirit onto this last guy over here. Right. Interesting. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I want to tear. Uh, he's. I'm going to try to go and save Rosen. Ooh, Grace I can see. Okay, over there. I can see where this can lead. Uh, okay, so he's going to try to break spirit this guy. So five dice minus one to your dodge. Uh, so I've got three successes. Okay, so that should be enough. So you hit, the... and that will minus my dodge. Yep. Oh, that's all I did. Yep. That's oh, so it doesn't do any damage? Right, no. so oh, okay. there's Never a mind. dash there. Gotcha. Okay, so debuffing, I was just rolling yep. to debuff. Oh, okay. okay, I see. So you still have one action left. So you yes. have one action uh, left. And then he'll go ahead and strengthen himself. Strengthen himself? 100%. So I've got a little strength Do recommend. somewhere here. Uh, where's the strength? There's, is it the sword? Yep. Little it 41. is the sword. There we go. Cool. So we, we have completed our plot phase. All right, let's get to fighting. All right, let's so do it. Flipping. Except the one, I'm not flipping it, Dawson. Don't worry, you'd be proud of me. I am proud of you. I am also oh, proud of you. thanks. So much positivity. I All love right. it. Okay, is there anything I can do to heal? No. Nope. Not yet. Well, actually, not yes. <laughs> you die. Not currently, <laughs> and yes, die. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, There's not currently, although they have oh. they have made it possible in the rules. I will heal you oh, to God. death. A healer would be so good. Oh, man, I can't wait. Uh, so Immediately uh, slotting into my team. So support class. Yeah, not surprised in yeah. any way. Right. <laughs> like, Rodri at a healer seems... Oh, oh. <laughs> we're just gonna tar pit the middle of the board, guys. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Okay. Right. Um, so, I mean, that's effectively his. Oh, game of course, mind. you're starting again. I'm gonna go with her big we'll cheater. See. We're gonna go with her, her, her big caveat here. Caveat. <laughs> What's her caveat? Everything except. So what we're going to do is just move one space and then move one other space and be done. <laughs> Seems good. Yeah, she's Seems just gonna decent. walk closer to Rengosh. That would be great, you know, if we can make that happen. Uh, I could do it from here. Oh, uh, sure. We'll start. Maybe we can arm the noms. I am going to use Mystic Arrow. So Mistake I, Arrow? What? Yeah. So I have to be within two. So it is a shorter range attack, and I only get three dice to hit. Okay. Turns out four stone dodge. So the the guy with six armor, yeah, that's uh, no. I need we're him. Gonna, we're gonna go with this guy. He's very he's very intimidating right now. He's got an iron heart though. So I need, so so I need really two pips. Get yeah. there. Yep. Get it. Yep, you got it. All right. So I'm gonna make a five dice roll attack. Okay. And this brings my armor down to it did three, right? Three. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Gross. Oh, strengthen. So and this first strengthen. one's gonna oh, be no. six. Dwarf down. My so, plans. I mean, minus, what? minus three pips. So here's what you're hoping for is a bad roll. Uh, uh, so we didn't get that. So you're, you're going to take four. definitely seven damage. So that is just enough to Just enough to knock off. you out? Yeah. Okay. Right. So you can just all pull right. all those off. Okay. So all of Because you're knocked out. Yep. So the neat oh, no. thing that happens when a, champ when a follower is knocked out, or a champion is knocked out. So all your damage is removed. Okay. And then I get to put you... I get to Move push you, you two X's. Yeah. So I get to move you to where I want you to be. Okay. I'm going to put you back here. Now the important part is that happened before Rodri activated. Yep. So what this means is Rodri gets one less action as he like wakes up and shakes off being knocked out. Yep. Oh, okay. Interesting. So you're gonna spend one to stand and then you can do whatever you want. So what's neat about Mystic Arrow, and maybe we'll see it in later in the game, maybe not, so I'm gonna explain now. What it does is it hits a target, mm -hmm. deals a five dice five damage dice. Five deals five damage. Okay. I then get to make another five damage roll. So it gets to roll damage twice. Wow. It real dumb. Wow. The drawback being, I get three dice to hit, and it's her shortest range ability. Okay, so that's your. Oh no! The oh down. no! Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that that nasty drawback. It's kill shot. Full, it's kill shot. Full of magical power. It's yeah, not man. even her kill shot. 
Oh. That's what's offensive about it. Oh man. So, so I, I gave you moon, so yep. use her 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 scoop. Scoop. Her scoop. And uh, And you move you move oh, token yeah, your five. Your, yeah. Use so, your attack time. So I, I need to move this. So I killed Rodri. Or yeah. knocked him out. So one, two, three, four, Whoa. four knockout. Whoa. And I'm a slayer, so I really into like it. Holy cow. So, so my chances are winning this round are pretty No, I think you've still got a really good round. Good. Okay. Um, and you lose your buff there, Henry. Yeah, I, I do lo lose the buff, yes. Because ah, I made it down. I have you now. And I'm just going to move. Uh, mm, mm. <laughs> you cannot escape the horns. They are very pointy. They are very pointy. That's the problem. One, two, one, two. Mm. Thank God. You can do it. Pretty much. So I don't want... Just stay there. Actually, actually move closer. Move, I am actually going to move closer. Wow, Lee, yeah. you're my best friend. Thanks, yeah. bud. So Lord Sane is done. Okay. Um, I'm going to activate Rodri. Okay. So first thing you do I only is, get one action, yeah? So for the first action you're going to do uh -huh. is, to, is stand to stand back up. up. Stand back up. Okay. Yep. So he was knocked down. He is now standing up. Uh, so now for, you get to make another action. For his next action, yes. he is going to use his ultimate. There you go. That is a good time to use this little... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I was uh, looking for that. Okay. So we've got the little banner we'll tokens over here. So he's going to put one here. Yep. For so and one, one for... two. Okay. So Ooh. banner's down. That's It's a little bit closer now. So we've placed two banners. Yep. I moved what does it. that mean? Okay. So we moved yep, it to... Yeah. We moved it. It's closer to my side now. Uh, and right, right. <laughs> But that's that's it then, right? Yeah. That is his turn. That's okay. Rodri's turn. Henry now gets to go. Uh... Hey, where's Black Dragon? He's way, way away over from here. the banners. Way over <laughs> the banners. Oh, that was really good. Yay. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess we're going to go with Black Jaw. Uh, Black Jaw's going to do Black Jaw, he thinks. Yeah. So, first action we're going to do, we're going to kick this fool. Kick him. Yep. He was smacking talk. We, we're going to kick him. Smacking them talks. Turn. Yes. Two, Turns three, four, out that Blackjaw likes to kick people. Yeah. I mean, he's got like the hammer really pants, so I, I, I rolled guess. three pips. Okay, so my dodge is three, so you still hit. Don't I don't worry. Don't fret, little that was Blackjaw. Close. You'll was still. You, you threw five right. and got three. I threw six and got three. Woo. So Good six dice for damage. I right, kill me a bro. Okay, so uh, it's gonna be Mr. Hoodie over yep. here. Now, importantly, we are Maelstrom. Yep, so I got oh, one point for killing dude, okay. and I like it. Oh no, it's going back to your side some more. So now I've killed the dude, I get, an action, I get a free action. I'm going to... Oh, this is going to be disgusting. Piss off, ghost. I'm going to fireball in here. Yeah. Oh, he's got fireballs? He doesn't look like a wizard. So, uh, do you remember how we told you that you can only ever kill like one bro at a time? Except... We're going to see how many... Fireball gets to hit everybody, everybody in a circle. Hits. Okay, Up so to three targets, seeing him, him to three you targets, might be... Yeah. You Which might is an be. interesting. Whoa, well, yeah, yeah, we like <laughs> future three targets. What? <laughs> future proofing. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna roll five dice. So I might have been better served spreading these guys out a little bit. Uh, maybe. Uh, the thing it, is, is they do so much damage and stuff. When yeah, they're grouped yeah. Together. Okay, it, like it's, it's one of those caveat of keeping keeping them clumped or spreading them out. It's one of the risks you take with Blackjaw, and Henry kind of counter deployed you there. Yeah. Son of a gun, Henry. Come on. I can't help it. I mean, Blackjaw pretty <laughs> much just, always... He's here to win, folks. Yeah. So, Blackjaw's pretty first, much always first going to win. First person. Uh, hit. Yep. Okay. Second person. I uh, hit. Also hit. I just and reinforce those guys. Third Come person. On. I also hit. Okay, so they're all dead. Uh, he has to roll take, damage. Oh. So, I got four dice to roll damage. So, I need... Against each of them again? Yep. So, yep. I need okay. two pips. So, first person. Dead. Okay. Second person. Well, luckily, crunch all you want. Yeah. I'll just make more. And third person. But I'm crunch. Ah, uh, you are. That's just barely killed. Just, him. just killed. Okay. So, uh, so once again, he's I've a male. Killed from. three people, and I really so like it. You have it. to meet my armor, not exceed. I have to exceed. Oh, so he has two armor. Oh, bands have two armor. Yeah. Oh, so I did not kill that. They're, they're tougher than. Uh, I I don't armor. think it matters. No. Nope. So I am I am I've I've pegged. Okay. Up. So that is horrifying. Yeah. I hate everything that's just happened. Yeah. I, I still think and we've got some chances here. I agree. Uh, I get a third action still. You still get your third action. Oh, no. I'm going to 
Fuck. No. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hit this dude with my axe. Yep. Fire axe. Yep. Uh, I only get four dice to hit this one. I still hit. But I get an extra damage. Are we fire axing the dude we didn't fireball to death? Or a different no, one? No, no, no. It's only range one. So I'm oh, doing yeah. Oh, I kill that guy. So interesting here. I've tried to turn the tide of battle to myself more. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. But this warband marker denotes how far you can go. Yep. If you're joining us late, you've uh, seen the orc genocide <laughs> on the bandits <laughs> and the horrible, horrible things uh, that can happen. The horrible on the destruction trail. of yes. your people. Th this is what happens when you use maelstrom uh, people properly. Yep. Wow. So they, that, I mean, that's doing as he's supposed to, just clearing yep. all my little minion bros. Indeed. Okay. Uh, does best. Well, luckily. I've got an angry minotaur. You do have one each angry with, minotaur. With, with one guy left on the table for him to munch on. I there's definitely two people on the table uh, for him to munch on. One person. One. Oh. There are oh, four people back One here. of those people, yes, I see. This is the the, the bench. I, I misunderstood now. what you meant by munch on. Uh, okay. Um, so what I think I'm going to do mm -hmm. is I will do Rangosh's assault. Yeah. Totally, 100%. Okay. So he's going to go on to the Rangosh banner, because that's how he gets down. So you can't actually you stand, can't stand there. Banner. But you mm -hmm. can go through your banner and, and be Oh, down. okay. So I can move up to two with my ult. Yep. yep. And so that is what he shall do. Right. Auto damage. Yeah. Auto damage. Okay. I real flimsy, so I'm scared for my life. How, okay. how much do you have left? I have three, three left. Can I stack multiple status effect decks? What do you mean? All right. Can I have more than one attack dice on my guy? So you no. cannot have more okay. than one of these buffs. But if I use one to said, attack with, then that, I could munch it. That said, Rangosh's oh. ability does not apply the strength and buff. No, sir. He, his ability simply adds a it's, dice. It, this, this is... Oh, yes. it's not so this strength. is the difference of... You, yeah, that other okay. game. Yeah, the other game. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. Okay. Additional dice is not yes. the same as <laughs> just the normal. So importantly, you only have one person left. Okay. So you need to figure out... I imagine you're... you're, you're Are we still within three? Come at me. What's up? Yes. We're still yeah, we're still we're, he's he's like two hexes away. So now we do... I, I imagine we're okay. attacking... Lord what Lord. is your evade right now? It is five. Five. Do you have how much health left? Three. Three health left. Okay. I am only one armor. Okay. I think that what I need to do is... Which one is two. have more dice to hit? Uh, so Whiplash. There you go. Probably that one. Yeah. I, so I, highly recommend I definitely am going to consume this to get six dice. So you're not... So you're that, not, that does that one extra damage. point of damage. Yep. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. So, so what you definitely want to do is consume your... Consume my guy first. Uh-huh. To get okay. an extra... Yep. So you have six dice to hit? Six dice to hit, which yeah. is going to cut it close. It's roughly so where you want to be, there. so... I mean, we want to be at like 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that would be ideal, I think. But I like 15. Until that day comes. One, two, uh, three, four. Oh! Oh, wow. Well. But the important we, we, thing we here is that uh, Lord Sane is very threatened now. Uh, yeah. Okay, well. Um, and now it's Henry's turn? Yep, I have orcs and... Uh, you have orcs. just orcs, right? Oh, I've got these. Yeah. Oh, the elves haven't gone yet. Yeah, they haven't gone yet. Oh. Wait, did we not do get out of orcs. action? Did we? No. No, no, no. no. Who do I have left? So I started. So you yes. have these guys, yes. and you have those guys. Oh, but they're they, all gone. That's doesn't okay. matter. They can still recruit. Can still recruit. Oh, like, really? Like, like we said oh, at the beginning. Okay. Good point. People will always follow your champions. Yeah. <laughs> they dumb. <laughs> they real dumb. And it's really there's actually some interesting things about that about like moving your champion and then recruiting off of your champion and getting people into an interesting space. So, yes. High gonna turnover gonna in the bandit industry. Back yeah. away a little. Uh, Did you just move this? three? Uh, one, two. two. Okay. Yeah. I, I thought about moving three. It, it looked like yeah, it. Yeah, it I was like, three. that's real good. I didn't think they could move three. Um, we're going to shoot Rangosh. We're going to try at least. All right. Four dice to hit. I mean, he's got a four dodge. Yep. Like I said, we're going to try. Do not make it. Yeah, not yeah, in yeah, any yeah. way. Their turn is done. Okay. Uh, well, crap. Um,. With my household guard, mm -hmm. we still got two moves, so they're gonna get up and move. Yeah, they will. One, two, one, two, one, two, and then 
he can't go on the creep, so he's just going to stay there. Okay. And Interesting. I imagine then these three are going, are to, going to strike attack. an elf. Yeah, I think so. That seems reasonable. They're going to attempt to anyway, so we've got a sword strike ability. Yep. It gives me six dice with three of them. That's yes. uh, pretty pretty. Dangerous. And that is the advantage for stacking these guys up, right? It's yeah. like you get a lot of dice to hit and a lot of dice to damage. I need what, four? Five? Five. You need uh, four. I did not blur. Ah. You got four? I got four. Okay. So right. then that gives me a sword strike with all the... Or sword, uh, yeah, sword strike. I've got six attack dice. So same again. I'm armor one. So you hey, need, you need I'm going to kill one of these you need two guys. Fish. I believe you will. I you just barely killed one of those guys. So you killed and guy. we shifted one Woo! space toward us. Yep. Right. Dwarves uh, and elves are Henry, natural we got, enemies. We got orcs, like right? orcs. Dwarves yeah. and goblins. They're kind of hanging dwarves out there. Dwarves and orcs. And dwarves and dwarves. They need more, they need more Dang prey. dwarves messing we, up we, my we mouth. Move. They're very fast. Well, you're not burdened right. down with right. like clothes. And we uh, done with activations. So that leaves your red bandits there, sir. Red bandits. Well, I guess we're going to reinforce first uh, and second. No. No. You can only reinforce once, but they have that other ability. No, I believe that isn't the plot. Uh, it is oh, it's. Oh, they. Yeah. Yeah. So nothing. Probably yeah, just reinforce. put one dude in. Still good. Try and shoot hey. an elf. One guy. Yeah, we can shoot the elf. Shoot an elf. You can, try and, you can shoot an orc. Shoot an orc. Shoot an orc is shoot good. Shoot an orc. I think that sounds better. Okay, yeah. so red bandits, I have a shoot ability. Yep. Up to range three. And... You got one guy. Three dice. Yep. Need a three to hit? Easy yes. peasy. Easy there peasy. it is. And... It's not easy peasy. These are sunder... Er, this was... Oh, Stunts, you only needed two to hit. Yeah, oh. you only needed two. Jeez. Oh, sweet. And then... Damage dice. Uh, four. four. Wow. Always four, It's right? a good bow. Yeah, it's always four. Uh, that is one each dead orc. Yay. Come on. Come on over. There it is. Oh. It's almost mine again. Uh, so... No, it's not. That so turns we're going to go to the end of the turn. Okay. The deals are going to go away. Nope. Yep. So now we're going to get into scoring the flags, right? Okay. So flags, they kind of cancel each other out. So, mine and your flag, they're, they're not going to exist. Yep. So, flies go away every time you score them. Now, and what's left is Rodri's. Yeah. So, we're going to move forward. One, two, three, four. And Rodri really loves the banner. So, we're going to go next step. Oh, man. That got yep. much closer than I thought it was uh, going yeah, to. Yeah. If we so had gotten lucky with that hit on Lorsane, yeah, uh, a real good that, chance. Very very good good. Wow. I guess it goes to show you, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, I will go ahead and take this turn. So I've won this turn, sir. Oh man, you now you're winning. You have to win the next turn, sir. Oh. I want to point out mathematically. Yes, mathematically. Yes, you so, must so this win is worth this turn. Three points. So if I manage to win this turn, I, I win. I win that will the be game of life. That will be game. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's going to be a shorter stream than we thought tonight, folks. <laughs> so uh, both of your alts are down. Yes. Yes, I've used them both. Right, so uh, first thing we're going to do is we need to add. We need to add. And flippins. Well, the God of Life continues to grow. Oh, right. Yeah. So, uh, but you I get lost the turn. So you get to roll, roll a dice. Yes. So two plus this one still. So, so one. three again. So you get three hexes to place wherever you so choose, sir. And I can't put them... On people. On people. Okay. What I think I'm going to do... <sighs> There's no easy way to screen your guys off because I would like to try and block these guys, but Rodri's in the way. Hey, dang! Because that'd be great to just connect four down here. And, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, it would. Uh, I've done that against them before. It, it's interesting the strategic I, possibilities. I really it. want to find the point where I get to lock somebody in the circle. <laughs> okay, so we got this guy going, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna go ahead and pop one over here. Mm -hmm. Over here. There we go. There it is. And then also, right. And one of the things there. that I think Henry might have done hey, last turn is when he moved his orcs, he was also limiting the places you could place those. I was. <gasps> Monster, you're using strategies that I am not privy to. 
Well, I mean, or at least no. We, we pretty much told you they existed. I mean, you can tell me things all day long. I do. Yeah, no, it's I mean, true. I, I retain uh, nothing. Right. So Oddly enough, we nothing. get paid for it. It's a plot phase. <laughs> you get to start start the plot phase, sir. Okay. You right. can do all your stuff. I'm going to do all of my stuff and things. Um, in which oh, case, there's something really dope here that I kind of want to see. From from Matt. Yeah. Tell well, me. you will not yeah, see so, it then. No, no, okay. we totally can see this. Okay. So, we went down to one guy, right? Right. What if we could go back up to, to, like, four? I mean, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm, we, mm-hmm. we use his ability. Uh, so, well, you're going to have to recruit first, right? Right. Uh, and so, Rodri would have to go. F- I guess Rodri might have to go first. Okay. No. Don't need to. You can go Rangosh first. So, you, you move Rangosh here. Oh. Stun. Or you have to move him here. Yeah, you have to move there. So we're, we're going to stun move here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Recruit. Recruit. Yeah. Recruit again. Yeah, recruit again. Okay. And like, oh, wow. just... And now we're, yeah, now we're back up to... And that's, up that's one of the big things you want to do, and I think that's why the rangosh rotary combo can be so devastating. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to pretend I know what I'm doing here, and we're going to activate Rangosh first. Yep. And then, so he's got the uh, two we're, move. We're going well, to so get that stun, stun first. Stun first, right? Oh, yes. Uh, so, because if I can make if her... If you can make her easier to hit. hit. Yeah, so... Make her easier to, to hit. break your spirit, <laughs> little don't. elf. Or giant elf, you know, please, whatever. Please don't. Let's do it. Uh, we do not. I do not. I mean, it was worth the roll. She, yep. she's, she's so much spirit. Right, because you, you had, what, five dice for that? Yep. I mean, that's, that's an even <laughs> roll. I'll take it. Yep. Yeah. Not bad. I call that a 50 It's uh, That's better than a 50 50. And then he moves down there. Yep. Uh, and then now we will activate old Rotary. Well, we want, we want uh, I would oh, wait, no, we need dudes to. Yeah, dudes that, force. Yep. We need dudes first. So we're going to induct. Yep, totally. So we no, you're going to recruit first. Oh, we can induct. Like, we, uh, can, we can do either. Yeah, I kind of like putting all. I No, I think you're right. Like, you, you probably want to spread them. Yeah. Recruit? Then, yep. Recruit? Yep. Then induct. Yep. So you can put them here, or you can put them here. Just remember, he's going to have blackjaw again later. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to so that's spreading out. That's the that. only place you can't put. Them. Oh, well, can't. sorry. So recruit is adjacent, right? Okay. Induct has a little different wording. Okay. It says if the red bandits are below their unit size, add one to a hex. Con- oh, containing at least. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and put one up here. Okay. okay. Make it work for it. All right. Okay. And so that was both of their actions. Yep. Okay. Uh, then we've got uh, Rodri, yep. who will go ahead and do his special to answer the call. Must target a follower. Its unit make, uh, makes a recruit action. Yep. So yep. the recruit action again, as we saw. Yep. So this is now legal. Yep. Totally. Okay. And then. Oh, um, I don't like that. I think we will go up. What if we placed our flag? Oh, that's right. He needs to do it in this phase. Yep. So yes, he will absolutely place a flag. It's not it. optimal because the elfy lady can just walk forward. But and uh, it step on it. so that's that's awesome. What we really want Lord Satan to come stand next to Rodri. Please no. Or Rangosh. Please no. <laughs> that's a good point. What you got right there. Uh, what we're doing in, and this is I'm trying the, to lure him in. Yeah, this is you're blowing the, it. This is one of the really <laughs> important things about God tier. I think is you want to force your opponent to make decisions that set you up for good decisions. Yes. Okay. So yeah, bait him out. You know, yep. see if you can. And then we still have these guys. And we still have those guys. Uh, okay. And they will do a shield wall. So Wait, shield, shield walls the or brace the, rather. Thing. Excuse brace. me. Brace. Yep. And. Burp. Uh, they're good. Oh, they can't get on the god tier. It's okay. yucky. It's very yucky. To them, at least. Uh, I think that's it, then? They don't I mean, want to move one. I mean, where? I don't know. What would be... Sure. Oh, oh, okay. So what <laughs> you're doing here now is uh, being a better player than me. Nice job. Gotcha, fam. I'm so, proud okay. that he did it with your models. Yes. Um, okay, because now it's also helping screen off you know, elfy lady. Yep. And her legs o striding. Legs o striding. Uh, and so that's all of my, my plots. Turn. My plots, not yours. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the same. I think we're going to place our banner here. Maybe out of 
Yeah, it should be out of reach. Okay. Out of harm's way. And uh, we will... Uh, what do we want to do? We oh, do not like this. Home? We don't like this armor buff. So we're gonna uh, try to apply an armor debuff to these guys. <gasps> You're gonna neutralize my buff with a debuff. Five dice, and we're trying to roll a two. Got there. So Just as long I'll as apply an armor debuff, and they will cancel out. Yep. But we made you waste that activation for it. Sure did. Yep. Um, Blackjaw's gonna go. Blackjaw's. Surprised at how many people just came out of nowhere? <laughs> I just kill you fools. Exactly. Don't you know who I am? Um, he is Blackjaw. So does he got a little here. top knot up there? A little nubbin? He, he does. does. Actually, yeah. He does have a top knot. That's very nice. I'm a fan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. I'm shocked. Uh, hey, at least he didn't bun it up, you know. I We're do not move. wear man buns. <laughs> We're gonna move three, so one, two, three. Oh, no. He's and so he's fast. Ooh. Fancy. He's got banners. For days. Banners for days. Uh, elves? I can't recruit. Why not? Well, I can recruit, actually. So this is an interesting thing. So if I recruit, typically you place it adjacent to the hero. Mm-hmm. Well, there's no room where I can place him. Is there a rule for this? There is. So when I recruit, it ends up in my deployment zone. That is correct. So we're going to recruit. And then what we wish to do is we wish to blur is our ability. And it ups our vision. Okay. Uh, orcs are going to recruit. And then they're going to move. Because we don't need to stun. Oh, stunning. Maybe a good stun. Maybe a try and stun you. Two dice? No. <laughs> Not well, stunning I think uh, regardless of how this turn goes, this is going to be the last turn for the introductory game. Dawson just pointed out yeah, we're yeah, yeah. running a little long, and we definitely want to see them play a real game of this. Yeah. Uh, so I'm definitely getting the basics down. Yeah. Okay. And I hope uh, everybody else is too. But. So we'll go straight okay. to Clash. Yep, in the Clash. And then, and, and uh, I think there's a real good chance Henry could take it this turn, too. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, I, I, I doesn't think have so. an ult. Or still an ult, Black yeah. still an ult. Like you, you still yeah, have both this, your ults. This would be rough. Uh, so just for the sake of the stream, we're going to let Henry win this round. But uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, stream. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I, I'd really want to see you and Dawson play with uh, all three champs. I am excited. You can knock it out. The injury get a, a, lot, yeah. a lot bigger. Um, okay. So I've got the first action. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, all... We're gonna go with Rodri. No, 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 no. We're gonna go Rangosh. I want to see Rangosh do some stuff. All right. So I'm going to eat a dude. Okay. To give me a. Hit oh, we're we trying to whiplash. Yes, I'm gonna whiplash. So the idea is that I whiplash her and then pull her in and then yep. draw break. Uh, it that is the that is the idea. Go to. I, I um, think that seems like a lot of fun, and I'm gonna yeah. give it a go. The only the only problem here is we're looking at the the five dodge. Yeah, the, which has uh, really kept her out of any kind it, of it serious harm. It really does. Right she is incredibly hard to hit but unless I, you get lucky. I think this this is the fun play, and I like probably it. the best chance I got. It is definitely uh, the it ring is, It is also <laughs> the ring <Rengosh> play. <laughs> okay. So he's going to eat to get a uh, dice. dice. So you're rolling six, six dice to hit? Six dice to hit. Six so I'm just going to gonna consume it now. Rangosh don't place no banners. Yeah. No. Banners. Okay, it's and there it is, the five dodge. Uh, you rolled one you rolled, pip. You rolled, you rolled two pips. Uh, two pips. Oh, so give me, uh, give me there was credit. a second I mean, one in there. Yep. I'm uh, impressed. Okay. It could have been so good. We, we rolled two pips on six dice. It, it was strong. Yeah. Dice. So now we get a second action. If anybody's right. curious, I was talking uh, to Jerry off camera, because when you fail that bad, um, you have to share it with everybody. Yeah. Okay. We definitely do. Especially with Rangosh. Rangosh always seems to, like, I, the target. I mean, it's the nine dice, <laughs> like... Nine dice, roll three pips. Yeah, roll three pips, story. right? Like, a six dice to hit on four and, and miss. Again. You cannot look flash again. Uh... So I'll just move over crush this here. banner. Yeah, we crushed crush the banner. Seems yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Bye, banner. Goodbye. We tried. And all right, ring, ring, gosh, stomps the fly. Yeah, we don't really want to give you the four. Yeah. 
Uh, okay. Your activation, sir. It is indeed. Do something silly. Uh, yeah. So we're going to snipe you. Yep. We're going to snipe Raincosh. Ah. This is where it gets dumb. These are all your dice. Oh, they are. Uh, you can <coughs> have them. Do you, do you want them? You can roll them. I think he's saying no. Yeah, I would too. And put them over here. Hey, dice. Dawson, uh, got him one. Dice. Six, six, seven. I got seven bits. Uh, you missed. Sorry. That's unfortunate. That's it. Yeah. No. All right. Turns out. Uh, four. I got the card right here. So four. Right here. Four. So you take four damage. I take four damage, and that brings me up to five damages total. I get to scoop. Yep, and here I'm comes use my ultimate. mistake yeah. error. Oh, uh, you're just okay. dead. Do you yes. don't even need to put those on you. Okay, so the ultimate just kills him, and yep. you Nine, get all two. sorts of points. One, two. One, two, three, four. Five. Oh, sorry, where did you put him? Oh, he's right there. Right here. Okay. Yeah. It, is, it is a habit to... It's to a habit to yeah, remove models. And, uh, Clearly, take it off, take it off. Yeah. It's done. Uh, is done. Oh, well, I apologize. I still get a scoop. No. Oh, sure. So you didn't put damage boxes well. on him. You do. They gain wounds until they are knocked oh, okay. out. Okay. Okay. They've reworded it recently. Oh, that's yeah. really <laughs> unfortunate because that's what Lorsane needed was a buff. Uh, I'm gonna put my salt all over this model. That's reasonable. The whole time we play. That's reasonable. Did you move all your tokens everywhere that you needed to? Okay. Did you need? Uh, uh, so, Dawson, what's my player? Do I want to try crying. and clear? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, after the crying. Um. Can I try to kill these guys, maybe? I mean, and get a few points. How many points? How many? What, how many points are we at? Right? Like uh, this is where we need to look. Currently. Yeah. So at the end, if if nothing else happens in this game, no yeah. models move, no nothing. Yeah. These yeah. will even out, but Rodri really likes his banner, so, so your turn one. marker is here. So you okay. need to go, one, two, three, four. You need to make five steps somehow. Okay. <laughs> so if I can get one, two. I can walk over my yep. banner, right? And then one oh, here to crush it. Oh, yeah. March Jeez, to yeah. crush. Uh, I think is what we do here. Yep. And, and then we kick your banner down the hill. Yeah. And I'm not about killing people because I can't roll dice. You just care I, about banners. I don't have to roll dice to yeah. destroy banners. And, and the nice point here it. is that I don't... Oh, you no, because you can't quicken this turn, so he can't get to your banner? I cannot get to your banner, now. So he's got to make sure that you, he's over six... Right. So this guy, puts. Well, luckily I've right got here. conveniently located troops for him to yeah. kill the pieces. Yeah. So so, so and now that's what's going to so happen. The new yeah. board state now puts you right here. Okay. And that's the thing is you've got to you've got to like be aware of where the tar the token is at, but you also want to pay attention to that like phantom end of turn token. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So I'm done with chain. I still have Black Joe to go. I you do. Black Joe and elves. Yep. And orcs? You, you haven't done I, anything. I've, I've only done orcs. Cool. Yep. So well, as we're coming to the final uh, moments of this game, yeah. uh, if uh, thanks for hanging out. If you guys have any questions on God Tier or uh, anything else, just uh, let us know. Um, I'm going to be jumping out of the seat, swapping with Dawson so he can play a full 3v3 game with Henry. And uh, I'll be, I'm sure I'll be asking questions as I watch, as I come to grips with the rules. We're gonna You're gonna. Oh no, the little guy. So yep. he doesn't have the armor buff like he did last turn, He's but he does have being next to Roger. <laughs> you are so. next to Roger. Jeez. Yeah. Ah, did guess that. Well, so he hit. He definitely hit. He de definitely uh, hit. Five dice. So, so you got five or five. Armor, armor five. Yep. There we go. Because dwarfs are. Nope. Yes. Rough and tumble. I'm alive, not dead. Oh. All right. Okay. So we, we we figured out I'm ending here. Yep. So what I need to do. You've got dwarves and... How, how far can he move this turn? Two spaces. Two spaces. Okay. I can move two spaces mm -hmm. and I can reach out two spaces. So what does Concentrate and Strengthen do? So Concentrate gives, is a status buff. That hasn't come up yet in this game. So what it does is it increases... It gives you one extra dice to hit. Okay. Strengthen gives you is the one we've, we've both used a few times, and it gives you one extra dice for damage. And you can have one of each of these status yep. effects up, right? 100%. So one that you can have all one of every buff. How, how sturdy is this gentleman to kill? So he is three dodge. Okay. He's three armor. Okay. And he has six health boxes. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Six, six is, a, is a pretty big number. I don't think we killed the champion this turn. 
probably. No. I think what we want to do is limit his ability to score. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is I can sacrifice a guy with Thug Life. Oh, boy. And then I can't do it a second time, so. Hmm. Nope. They're not orcs. They can't do two things. Yeah. But you can try and kill something else. Yes. I mean. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do. We could shoot us an elf. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, definitely. I think your elves are getting abused this game, Henry. They are. Like, I've never seen elves get so worked. <laughs> I, I have off? a feeling the dwarves might do something next turn to one. Am I better off better off doing Thug Life to get the Concentrate or Strengthen? I mean, kill I, I would do that. Because, okay. like, then then you put, uh, you put, um, uh, what's this? You what's, put Black what's Jaw and only getting for? two? Um, I mean, you're going to just use it right now oh, on yeah. both of them, yeah. so. yeah. Uh, you're gonna go to three, four, or so you're gonna go to a four, five. The thing is, like, I had blur. Uh, so I but I mean, what's he? What else is he gonna do? What's within three? Uh, yeah. Oh, is there an orc there? Yeah, there's. An oh, orc we kill the orc. I think that's kill what the orc. Hundred percent. So four. Uh, five. Or five. three, four. There, there's yeah. a. Yeah. Four there's a fat yellow four. elven head in my way. There is. Yes. Oh yeah. Get it. But then again, dice happen. So. Oh wait, no, Maybe. three. That's yeah. what I needed. Hey, hey, this is what this is what success feels and like. And you get one more dice. And you get one more and dice then, da damage. Okay. Because we we concentrate and strengthen. Yep. Uh, that's the dork. Hey. The dork. Come on over here. Come here, point. Kerchew. All right. So we've got black jaw. We do. And we've got elves. Uh, mm. Elves. And we've got rhythm. Elves, yeah. see what's happening. Yeah, feel the rhyme. Get on up. Use the button. Mm. 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 That'll get us a strike. Come yeah. on now. Yeah. No quoting uh, Disney. Nope. They'll, they'll come over here. Wait, no, that's Nintendo. Resurrect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> resurrect the uh, ghost one. of John Candy. We're going to shoot that one. Uh, five dice. I get it. Yeah. And yeah, this yeah, is... Yeah. Five for damage against your armor. Four, because I'm targeting this one. <laughs> that really? guy right there. Sure? I'm sure. And I don't break your armor. Yes! You got that big, big old shield. Yeah, um, I don't know how many games I've played against the dwarves. And not killed one. They seem really But I have really never strong. seen one die. I really like the uh, the whole road routine here. Yeah. So, those are done. Rangash, I don't know, man. Get more dice, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Whereas Rangosh is like I, I, I my superstar. I tend to be a very defensive player when I play Actually, anyway, I so. mean Wraith is my superstar. He's a, he is a superstar. Uh, okay, so my activation... Do we, yes, what do I have? These guys. Oh, just them. Oh, okay. Guess what uh, they're going to do? Turtle up. They're, they're going to get together and kill yeah. an elf. They go pile yeah. in and yeah. kill an elf. And yeah, so just sword strike then. Yep. So, uh, so you got get, all three in there, so yep. it's six dice. Looking for uh, a five. I got yeah. pretty decent odds on this. Look, look for five. handing you all of his dice, Henry. Two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. You got it. You we didn't damage. lose, we win. Oh. You have to roll damage now. Six for damage. I ended up with. There was a lot of dice on my side. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're stealing my dice? Something no, you're leaving them in the thing. Yeah, I mean. Uh, that is a dope. Oh, right. holy crap, it worked. Yeah. Oh, man. Bing. Okay. Uh, black Jaw's going to go now? And, and Black Jaw's going to score four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was fun up to the last. Black Jaw's going to come here. Gentlemen, you know, it's been an honor. Uh, we're going to use Black Jaw's ultimate, which allows me to make an action as part of his ultimate thing. Yeah. Make, so make I'm going to kick this guy. Yep. Kick him real good. Kick him real hard. So like eight eight dice. Shoe, honestly. Kick, him, kick him real hard. Definitely hit. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised yeah. you ulted the kick. Yeah. Uh, I really want to make I sure think I really with this kick. I think I think the kick doesn't the kick have more dice than the fire axe though. Yes, but I'm guaranteed to kill one, so now I'll get a third action. Oh, okay, I see. <sighs> so I kill the guy. Yep. The pain train. Which which guy? Okay, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. And then now we're, we're gonna third axe. action, so we're gonna fire axe. Yep. Hit everything Strong. in this game, yeah. Oh, I'm just I mean, gonna get ready to. Ta da! Yep. Yeah, yep. He, he is. There we go. Dead. And, Henry and then there is no possible way yep. I can. No, that, that's actually so, just so the this game. is the end of the turn. Okay. So you go one, two, three, four, and one. So, so close. And here. Yep, and Henry wins. Good game, sir. Thank, Thank you, you so much. That is the power of the Black Show. Wow.
Yeah, cool. Blackjaw, oh, so Blackjaw into like other orcs or into like human into the humans. Yeah, he is an absolute. Cool. Well, let's re-rack real quick so you guys can get a game in. I'm yeah. going to go grab a drink and be right back. And so then you, I will you just want to take a break for everyone? Because I'm going to need to take yeah. a break real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just do a, just a quick, 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 quick break. And, uh, we'll yeah. be right back, folks. Uh, we'll get started here in just a minute. Yeah. Are we gonna, we're going to cut this into two YouTube videos, right? Uh, I mean, we should. Uh, we should. We should, 100%. You, you just did an hour and 45. Yeah. Put all the clothes in one chunk. I understand it uploads in a chunk. So out of the 12 people, not living today, you have 11 That's pretty good. It was one of the Shalai players. Uh, <sighs> okay. Well, if you're still hanging out with us, uh, hope everybody's having fun. That was uh, very interesting. I, I, I think I mentioned earlier that I had played God Tier a couple of uh, yeah, a couple months ago. Uh, saw it at a convention, and uh, definitely the rules have been changing since then. So the beta test is doing very well for Steamforge, and uh, but I hadn't played it since then, and uh, as you could probably tell, but uh, fun game. I'm enjoying that. It's very different. I've been playing a. Uh, well, for those that uh, maybe return to the channel, they know uh, I play a lot of Star Wars Legion, and uh, it's just very different game, different pacing, uh, but uh, a lot of fun. I'm excited to see more from that in the future. But uh, we'll go ahead and get started here with Dawson and uh, Henry here in a sec. If you're watching this uh, later on YouTube, hey, thanks for checking out the uh, video. We tend to stream every Friday night. Uh, we've been doing a lot of Star Wars Legion. We're going to be mixing it up now, probably alternating uh, with some other games, doing some 40K, uh, probably War Machine. Uh, and But uh, of course, we'll always come back to Legion because that's, that's my game. Uh, and then X-Wing 2.0 when that comes out. but. Uh, also, if there's any requests, you know, feel free to hit us up. You can uh, find me on Twitter at Frontier Gaming C. Uh, C is in channel, and uh, I'm always happy to chat with people on there, uh, as well as uh, our normal YouTube channel. I think there's links out here. You can actually find more information about the game uh, via Steamforge's website. There, it's posted the link. And uh, also uh, the, the pre-order war bands that are available. The first wave of stuff coming out looks really good. We were talking a little bit about all the different champions. Just the fact that you can get a little war band box that will change how the game is played. It's very much like a League of Legends or Dota style where one of those champions has a completely different skill set that will change how that game is played. So uh, that's kind of an interesting uh, system that we're going to see in here. But uh, you can check out the rules on their website, uh, get involved with the beta if that's something. You can proxy models. Uh, and yeah, it's just really cool. But uh, hopefully, these guys are going to be ready soon. I'm not sitting here just monologuing all night. But uh, yeah, hopefully, everybody's getting ready for their weekend and having fun. They've uh, actually got some really good videos up on YouTube, too, that they had for the Kickstarter. Let's see if I can find that real quick while we're waiting. Also, if they, uh, let me know how the, the sound and the, the video quality is on the stream. I'm still pretty new to streaming in general. Uh, having a lot of fun with it, though. I'm trying to up our social media presence. Uh, uh, also part of a podcast for Star Wars Legion, the Legion Outriders, and having a lot of fun doing that. Let's see, Steam Forge, and there's God here, Kickstarter. Get that posted up here. 
I'll have uh, links in the uh, YouTube video as well, if, as again, if you're watching this after the stream is concluded. And post that up. I mean, monologuing, not unlike an evil villain, maybe not. Uh, I'll try to keep the mustache twirling to a minimum. What's going on? Uh, I was uh, saying that I'm just here monologuing, waiting for you guys to get ready to kick some butt and go conquer some god tier. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach over and collect myself some. Ah, uh, man, that's the guy I, I think I was like, that guy is dope. He is Super my dope. favorite. He's like a big lizard dragon. Oh, sorry, shaking the camera. Uh, he's a he's a dragon. Yeah. He's a dragon kin. He's a Durgan. He's one of the last ones, actually. Oh, uh, the I believe he's I one believe. One why can't we go to the planet where is there? I believe I'm gonna dragons, punch some you short know? dudes at you. Oh uh, yes, hundred percent. Give me give me dumb dwarves. And uh, he's got a really cool ability with these whirlpool. Like his minions aren't like dudes with swords. He's got like little taking the monster. Water. Uh, yeah. And that Believe doesn't sound him. especially scary, except that it allows him to like oh, manipulate movement on the battlefield. No. Uh, yeah, he can slingshot himself around or like pull other people out of position. So the yeah, tactical... I don't think that works. So, uh, like you saying, actually, like, it, it does. It doesn't work well. Can, can you actually kill people? I mean, I just the, got a one. The puddles. Yeah. Which is like the most. It, it's this exact same scenario. What was that? Can yeah. you kill I'm not gonna, with we're not going to play this no. scenario. No. The puddles. Okay. So they're they're strictly like uh, movement mechanics. I don't know. I'm just going to get these things. All right. Go. Go get a D6. Alright, so, uh. Like a D6. Uh, ring gosh, where is. This stream is sponsored by caffeine and lots of it. Oh, I'm being healthy. Know, but look at you. I'm so proud. So, you've got ring gosh, you've got black jaw. You've got the blue gentleman. Wraith. 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 Marid. Wraith. Okay. Wraith Marid, sir. It is a. All right. I Decay. rolled a two. We're playing Decay then. <laughs> Didn't we play Decay last time? Uh, last time we played against each other. Yes, we yeah. played Decay. Okay. So, so I'm assuming it sense. sounds like you start with God Tears on the board and then start shrinking. Yep, that's the deal. 100. percent All right. And again, if you guys have any questions during the play, I'll be pinging questions as they occur to me uh, on the stream. And which game are you? Otherwise, though? yeah, no thanks. questions. Appreciate it. No questions. Team no player. Questions are like capes. So you just you just crush me, and then you're like, no done, capes. Done. No capes. No capes. Ooh, that movie Incredibles this weekend. Yeah, it's supposed to be really, really good. Oh, the I'm new sure. One? I mean, yeah. I wouldn't I expect mean, anything. They took them 15 years to do it. Might as well be good. Right. Uh, we don't start with just two. Yeah. 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 It's like it's this it's more than that. Here. I haven't tried the newest one yet. I mean, we always could. Uh, sure. Let's try the brand brand new one. Chaos. Tears of Coravan, the trickster god of chaos. Uh, the four hexes spread across the battlefield are objective. In the end phase of each turn, the god tier beneath the ground seeds out new beacons of chaotic energy. Hmm. The player who did not win the turn may now place one additional objective hex on an empty hex. So I need to set this up. I do like that the scenarios are themed for different I mean, gods, so... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Yeah. 2, 3, 4, 5... So we just go here and here? Well, uh, here. It's empty. I count empty, empty spaces. Ah. Those there. One, two, well, three, just four, count four, it in between. It's the same spacing. Oh. Our deployment zone, Dawson? Is 3, though. Is 3. You're gonna freaking drop first oh, turn with... Oh, and... Oh, this is terrible. One, two, three. Oh, one, no. Two, three. So it's right there. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah. So a neat aspect that like didn't get covered in the first one is that this turn marker can never go past your warband marker. We did talk I about it. I think I might have mentioned it, we, we but did I, didn't, like, it. I didn't like make a point out of it. Uh. Oh, wow. So you guys are on a real short thread. We're on a real short leash here. Back and forth, huh? Four dice. Four dice. Strong? Not, not nearly uh, strong. I ruled zero. Wow. Um, I'm definitely going to go first. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Ah, uh, okay. So the druid okay. and his pet Hey, this is like a problem, though. Uh, on the bright side, you don't have anybody to counter-deploy my Rangosh. This is true. Right? Like, there's no black shot to counter-deploy Rangosh. Uh -huh. And I know what you're going to do. And our deployment's three, right? Three rows. Three. 
I was expecting just that. <laughs> what? Rangash is getting as close as he possibly can. 100%. And so are his little buddies. So the first scenario was like the goddess of life, so the yep, it's god right tears out. were growing. So this is the trickster one, so they're going to be uh, changing. He is the trickster god of chaos. So they still spread. Okay. Uh, this um, one, they sprout out out of anywhere. Yeah. Oh, okay, so they don't the have loser, to be contiguous. Yeah, no, the okay. loser grabs a hex and places it on any empty, any empty hex. So, like, we can set this up, and then I can choose to place the first one there if I lose. So, uh, you're going to... This is a problem. See, because uh, Blackjaw into Rotary is, like, just not great. Um, Finger guns. So I think what Gets we're going to do gun. is... I mean, if you got a chain... We're going to Wraith, and Wraith is going to drop his little whirlpools. Okay. And these are called Spelooshlings. Spelooshlings. Which may be the best name to know to man. The, That's the, their the official new official name. Are super the, the they are super... You know what they remind me of is uh, Mobs and WoW, actually. Yes. The what? There's some mobs in WoW that the Splooshlings look just like. Oh. Uh, the, they are the water elemental, like the, the nice water elementals from Pandaria. Oh. Because I'm not enough of a nerd, I have to actually equate this to WoW. As Jarrett walks away shaking his head, only because he's not man enough to keep playing. Only do, do the wickets be stealing their slickies? Hey, possibly. So what's nice is that you get the first turn. I do. Ah, uh, and what up? So my goal here is to hunt arrow chicks with blackface jaw. Black jaw. There's his name. Um, what? I think we're going yeah, hunting arrow chicks with blackface sounds especially racist, but yeah, yeah, I figured that out yeah. three quarters of the way through the sentence. Yep. yep. Um, and I think we'll bring a couple in over here too. But the nice thing with Black Joe's minions is they don't really like need each other for support. You can kind of spread them around the field. And they're so fast, they can kind of redeploy where they are. All right, Henry, show me some shale. Shale, where are we gonna be? Where do we want to be? I think we want beer. So what kind of champion is... Uh, Shale three? is a shaper. Shale, Shale is a Shale shaper. Is a shaper. So and Shale gets an extra uh, tick for placing his banner. Oddly enough, the hulking dragon man... This model, this huge... Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Is also a shaper. Really? Yep. Wraith Bird is a shaper. I would not have guessed that. No, he's got kind of like a Slayer vibe that a lot of people are into. I mean, he's holding like some nasty looking daggers, so... Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're about the size of a dwarf. But they double as a screwdriver, so I can build things with them, too. Let's be. There we go. Yep. Uh, go, sir. All right. Uh, we're going to go with Black Jaws Minions. Yep. We're going to move. Run, Forrest, run. There's speed three. Speed three. So we're going to go one, two, three. Everybody's just going to go to there. So speedy. Much speed. Uh, we're going to go one, two, three. That guy's drunk. He's a really cool looking model who is a little hard to position. Oh, yeah. Um, and the then we're going to go fix that. Um, one, one, two, three. With yep. the, uh, one, metal. two. Wow. And then we're going to go one, two, three. One, two, one, two. So this is what I was talking about with you, Matt. Like, so now he's screening off the guy right. here, so Rodri yep. can't go up and plant the banner. So As those he, are, that's his want. Rodri can't do that this turn unless I use... Oh, yeah, he just can't do it this turn. Mm. Uh, but, like, these two could have? You could if you had Black John on your team. But you could potentially win points by killing off his minions. Okay. The Splooshlings are going to activate. Sploosh. Uh, and these guys are super fun. Uh... They are going to use current, and current allows all of the splooshlings in one hex to teleport up to three. So this one's going to go one, two, three. This one's going to go one, two, three. This one's going to go one, two, three. Yep. So when they do something, would you call them current events? So uh, they have now teleported. Um, 
what they're going to do now is they're going to yeah uh, we're going to tide on Rangosh mm -hmm. right yeah it's enemy no it's enemy uh, oh they changed it they changed it mm, spicy. okay so they're done because yeah. uh, they have no movement so they can't move they only teleport places Oh, how sad for them. They have no legs. That's unfortunate. It has no legs. All right, uh, Black Jaws going to go. go They're all little Lieutenant Dan's. Um, I think Black Jaws going to go. Is it worth? Is it worth? I don't think it is worth. Let me work it. Put my thing down. Flip it in reverse. It. 100%. Uh, Black Jaws going to quicken himself and go for Go, buddy, go. Get to where you uh, need to be. How far can it can teleport to him? Sure. And yeah. how it can move one by itself? Yep. Okay, so we're just going to go four. Uh, and he can go three. Two. Two. I have a constant speed of two. Yeah. One, as, two, he two, as he three, double checks the four. Card. We're going to go there. There he is. Uh, you can still get to me. We're going to go here. There he is. <laughs> Uh, Rengosh is going to activate. Rengosh is going to strengthen. And he's going to get up in there. Uh, so he's going to move his two. Two. Uh, that strengthen is going to kind of hang out with him. Once again, Rengosh is real difficult. So Henry, the orc idea of a plot is just running really fast at your enemy. That's what mean, it seems. That is a very common so what characteristic. We're gonna do is run that way. It is a very common characteristic really that people apply to orcs across all little species. Cultures. We're gonna move these two to here. Yep. And these guys to here. Okay. Uh Wraith is gonna go. Go Wraith. Wraith is going to Kersploosh. To there. Boom. Okay, so he consumes a sploosh lane to do his teleport And action. this is going to give him a bonus of his choice. Uh -huh. oh. We're going to take an armor. Sounds good. Which looks like that. And then he's going to move. Or no. What am I doing? Banner. Banner. And I'm done. So first plot phase action for Dawson done. Henry's turn to deploy the troops. Contemplate life a little bit. Hey, if you're tuning in late, uh, my name's Matt. We've got uh, Henry in the black shirt and Dawson in the red, and we are looking at Steamforge's new game, God Tier. If you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, also, you can go check out back earlier in the video, uh, and I, Henry takes me through a learn to play, basically, scenario. It went a little long. I'm especially tough to teach, so. <laughs> the timing on that was so special. Thank you. Okay. Well, Henry was saying that it went just a little long oh. as you were talking about how tough you are to teach, so it sounded like he was saying you were just a little hard a to teach. A little bit hard to teach, yes. Okay. Uh, I, I won't this is going to be a there. pretty quick turn for me. I think, I think so. Uh, Rodri is going to give, not a deal, get that out of here. We're going to armor buff our golem. We're going to move one. These guys are going to move one, buff themselves. Yep. He's going to move up. We're going to attempt to move this guy. Yep. Uh, earthquake. What's nice. closer to what an actual game is uh, supposed you to need like to hit the three. doing things Don't, in a reasonable Do not hit time. the three. Unfortunate. That is real unfortunate. Uh, I mean... How many Oh, guys? you don't have any damage in the uh, lot. Four. Ooh. I do not. This is an accurate save. Yeah. I'm gonna be going to move yeah. three and place her flag. So we don't like auto and see this turn. Which wouldn't be the worst thing. Yeah. Uh, shale's going to move to here. We tried, so we're we going to the big thing with that shale and uh landslide do is that they uh shale teleports landslide places. Mm -hmm. So what I'm literally doing is teleporting him from this position, which doesn't really, didn't really really do a whole lot for me, 
I'm going to put him in a better position to do more this turn, so I'm going to put him way over here. Yep. Wow. How many hexes did he just jump? Uh, so it, it's within three of Shale. Oh, okay. So, so he effectively moved four hexes. But you could get five, up to, like, five. seven? Yeah, difference? like, he moved Oh, yeah. Five. Oh, yeah. You can um, definitely... Starting okay. on this hex, some more movement I have, again is a little bit different. Yeah, than starting the on this hex, I have placed landslide roughly in this. But area. there are some tricks to that. If you separate out landslide and shale, don't do uh, this to me again. Oh, <laughs> uh, because uh, you should do that this, little this, with this, the ability this. to pull them out. Uh, rangers are going to blur, and then we're going to attempt to sunder the orcs here. Why would you blur? What are you afraid of? Everything. Why? Why, <laughs> why you? For, why He's you afraid of Americans? Life. Uh, they have an armor you with. Yep. Okay, done. Yep. Flash base? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, you want to put out the debuff? No, oh, sure. Uh, alright. Clash phase. Uh, I think we gotta... Oh, uh, that's so unfortunate. Because that's not gonna get that done. You guys are now into the uh, So the big thing here is we're in the clash phase turn one. The big thing here is that he made it so I can get rid of his flag. Uh, but I can't get rid of his flag and kill this bro. But you don't think I can kill this bro that turn anyways, because he's got the armor buff. Uh, you cannot get to my flag. He can move two. two. Oh, right. I forgot he slows down. So what I've done is I've I've can I've made it also our flags are on even terms. Okay. What? I should have. Uh, well, except for the fact that I'm a shaper and you're not. Right, but you're not a guardian. Oh, that's right. Right, not a guardian. Right. Takes me a second sometimes to remember how to play games. Sometimes. Uh, I think then we just have to try and murder him. Do we do that? Is it worth it? Or do we try and murder them? Dodge five. Either way, it sounds uh, like people are getting murdered. I hope not. I think we're. I think that's going to have to happen this turn. You don't take that from uh, him, Harry. Oh. Somebody tries to murder you, try and murder him right back. Hmm. Rangosh is in like the wrong spot. Yo. Uh, Which is unfortunate. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think we're going to activate these brows. Sure. They're going to walk to here. Understood. <laughs> I think they're only going to move that one, but these guys are going to move to here. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to shoot push in. Totally. Uh, my five. guys have five. You need a five. Not impossible. Two, three, four. Almost. Yep. Uh, these guys are going to go? Yep. We're going to strike these guys with our sword. Yep. Uh, I believe I'm only getting five dice. Yep. Need three to hit. Uh, what is an average dice pool gotcha. for this game right now? Uh, there isn't one. Okay. It's no, just yeah, no, it's all over the place. Yeah. Uh, hit. Definitely hit. And you are minus one armor. I'm minus one armor, so I am a two. Or a one. Uh, I killed this one. Wait, no, two. All right, for the orcs? Yeah, two. So I get a point. You get a point, the, uh, but the armor buff is gone. I remember uh, you. Okay. Uh, so what you're going to see me do is, every time I act a person, I'm going to flip this over. Um, basically because the important stats don't matter, and it helps me remi helps remind me uh, what I've done. Yep. I, I do something very Especially similar. in this point. In this phase. Who's got advantage right now in the tug of war? Dawson does. Uh, just barely. Okay. So the big problem with this is actually the way that this turn works. Um, I think we might do that. That looks not great. I th okay. His dodge is two. His dodge is two. So the little druid guy's name is Shale, and that's yep. Landslide. That is Landslide. Nice. That's Landslide. Nice. I mean slide. Slide. Uh, all right, we're gonna. I move three this turn with Rangosh. You do. Yeah. Or yeah. You no, know, we do. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go hard. What up, G? Uh, we would like to uh, jawbreaker. We're gonna jawbreaker. Sounds devastating. Uh, 
I got three dice. Three. Three. But you're a two, right? I am a two. God. <laughs> I am. What if people are saying in that room? <laughs> Uh, we're gonna eat a broken dice. Okay. Nine dice to nine dice. Nine dice to damage. All right. Armor four. So you need to roll eight pips to knock me out. How big is your pool right now? I have nine dice. Nine dice. Wow. Eight, 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 but I need eight, eight pips to kill it. To kill me. Oh. Okay. Well, that's. I am so not so gonna get six. there. So you did two. Uh, two. And my stuff is Yep. So he just went and put the smack Ooh. down on landslide. Rangosh has gone. Yep. How much health does that minion have? Four. Four. Four? Okay, uh, for the, a minion, that's pretty... Uh, the other important thing is because that minion is so large, He's worth should you remove him, he is worth two. Oh, okay. Yep. I'm going to go with going to move and then march. So I'm Although gonna step one health yep. guys are worth one point, then a four really? health Really? I'm surprised. Good. That was dumb. I have made the mistakes. Uh-oh. Henry's gonna win this turn. I n now have full control of this turn. Yeah. Um. The only reason I say that is because this bumper. Is yeah, yeah. The bumper kills me. Uh, because I could definitely like push this turn yep. and score a shitload. Hundred percent. Uh, but it's not worth it. A nope. buttload. That is a medical term, sir. Yes. Uh, a I load? think. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you want to get you know an I official do. measurement I system. I do. Okay. Hundred um, percent. I think. So, so chat, what Dawson's gonna do now is gonna start planning for his next turn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you can't realistically you can't win, win this, this one, turn. so give yourself the best advantage for the following turn. Yep. Makes sense. Plan ahead. So, we do, so what he might start doing is he might start thinking about where to place his hex at the end of the turn, and then start positioning his malls around it, or he might try and like press the advantage even more. Okay. Or press the advantage. He might press the offense, press the offense more. So obviously, in this game, Dawson has definitely been the aggressor. Mm -hmm. So he might try and continue to do so. All right. Uh, explosion is going to activate. Go explosion. Go. We're going to teleport to here. Right, right. Uh, we're going to pull Rodri. Right, right. I get six. I am a two. So he's using the. Or no, I get. Water vortex I get five. to pull yeah. Rodri out of. Yep. Alignment of where he is. That's too many. Ta -da. So he's going to go one directly towards. Directly towards. Hmm. Your turn. What to do? What to do? Well, I don't want to do any other things until other things go. So I'm going to go with landslide. We're going to avalanche, which is our melee attack, into Rangosh. I get six dice. Yep. Need a four. You just crush it. Wow. I get six dice for damage. Just this is just Henry's dice against me. Yeah. Hundred percent. Uh, goodbye. He punches the crap <laughs> out of his hell elemental. Two, four, six, you take eight. That yeah. is just enough to kill him. Holy uh, goodbye. mother. Uh, he did not that, like being poked. That hurts my turn. My next turn a lot. Turn lot yeah. uh, I still have a second. Strong. Uh, activation. Activation. Um, maybe Dawson decides to get frisky, so I'm going to use... Landslide's ability to teleport himself back to ship. This is... Wham bam! Yeah. I'm out. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Wow. So, this is one of the things you have to worry about. Tech play. Uh, Losing your... You did have an amazing start this turn, Dawson. I did, uh, and then I rolled real bad. And then you rolled real bad. And um, that slipped away from me. But, but he did have an amazing mm. start. To yeah, start. locking you out of the first turn is really good. Me out. Yeah. Uh, but you have responded very well, and I think. You got to counterpunch. As it turns out, I've put a lot of games in. <laughs> yeah, Henry has no, played, yeah. I've played more than anyone else in the story, I think. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think Shane's gotten a lot in. Shane has also gotten a lot of games in games. Um, which, if you're watching, hi, Shane. What up? <laughs> uh, tell me what I should do. Um. I think we're actually just going to force you to roll some dice. Reasonable. We're going to go here? Yep. We're going to fireball. Reasonable. Dodge five. Or da yeah, dodge five. I, do. I get five. Double check. Here, double check. Uh, 
And if it is the next skill or something. The wins are bonuses. You should all get it. I believe so. I'm just, I'm just verifying. What's the potential that you're actually going to hit him with a fireball? I've got five. Okay. But then so there are dodges. The next five years you yeah. roll against okay. it. You may have so. so I, one can dodge? One. One, yep. one gets five, the other two get four, is how I am understanding this. I think that is rules as written. We're going to run with that. Yep. Uh, if anybody wants to get back to us and let us know, that'd be great. Yes. Uh, I'm going to roll the hit. Because so testing. I need a five. Yep. Ta-da! So the first one I get... I need a four. Yep. Crushes it. Ta-da! Wow. I need a four. Ta-da! Wow. Uh, this is the power of fireball. Nope. Uh, I'm still not going to win the turn. You need two pips. No, I'm still not going to win the turn. You're taking dudes uh, off the field. So he's going to have to spend action. Get back fireball is four. Yep. Two pips. Need two. Dead. Kills one. Next. Kills. Ooh, <laughs> so dead. Crispy. Crispy elf. Spikes it. Okay. Okay. Well, that was effective. Yeah. And does he get free actions because of that? He does. He gets a free action. Uh, but I can't do anything with it. Range. Yep. So he's done. Yep. He spends an action yodeling. We may not know this about but Blackjaw, but... He is a yodeler. yodeler. This is why I deployed Blackjaw the way I did, is he needed to do that. Yeah, in this yeah. game, that is what he needed to do. That's a lot of uh, firepower that Henry just lost out on. The problem is, is that those elves are pretty dumb. And one of them is still going to pop up and throw like five dice of damage on something. <laughs> it's possible. Uh, Lord Shane's going to go. Lord going to throw something right here. Which is fine. Ah, I mean, it was fine. All was dead. It was fine. You walk over your flag, so we're gonna pull that. Right? Sure. Is <laughs> that so how that works? I'm gonna. No. Miss, I'm gonna I don't miss, think that's I'm how that works. Of you. Three, right? Yeah. Does not hit. We tried. I will take that. Uh, we tried to kill an orc. So all I have left is wraith. Tried and failed. No. Tried and died. No, I have wraith and the orcs. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh, what? <laughs> Yeah, I my flips are bad. I was like, how do you have one and I have two? <laughs> uh, my flips are bad. I have Wraith in the Orcs. Okay. Why am I flipping the Orcs? Uh, what do you have left? Shale? Elves. Do they have a reinforce action during the clash? They can, they can recruit. They'll recruit, yeah. Um, boom, boom, boom. Mm. Oh, no, we're gonna do. Okay, uh, Wraith's gonna go. Go, man, go. Wraith's gonna move here. Wraith's gonna headbutt. Headbutt real good because it gets to move people. It does. And anything that moves people is real strong in this game. Yep. We got five. I believe in you. I didn't need five. You did not. You only needed four, as it turned out. Uh, your armor is high, though. It real high. It's five. And I've only got five dice on this. Sorry, armor is four. So I've only got five dice. I could still spike this. That'd be really good. Yeah. Like, rolling a ten would be super good here. Just, just roll good dice, spike, man. Spike. Uh, I did not break the armor. But you, I still get to move you. You do. Where am I going? Uh, we're going to put you... Somewhere I don't want to be. Put you on a trip. We're gonna put you in. Really? Yeah. Yep. Here you go. Okay. Now some works are gonna go. Or, uh, no, no, it's there. My action yeah, yeah. sir. <laughs> Whatever. Sir. Roger doesn't get to go again. I don't care. I don't think you get to affect what I get. Sir. Fine. Do your thing. I'm a boss. You gonna go sailor? I, I mean, I'm just trying to skip your turn. That you are. Your stuff tends to survive more if the other player doesn't get to actually yeah. you know, play as, the game. As it, turns so. out, as it turns out, if you can convince your opponent not to play the game, you win. Yay! Hey. 
I mean, I mean, realistically, I'm never going to lose this game because at the very end of it, if it looks like I'm going to table flip answer. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the, the, the ultimate answer. Classic table flip, walk move. away. This shell ult this turn. I mean, because with my size, I could just my belly got stuck on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think shell is going to move to here. Oh, are you going to do it? I think I am actually. I'm going to ult shell. So shell's awesome. She he really loves god tears. So what my ult does is every god tier within three hexes, I get to move one hex. Wow. So I'm going to help position myself for the next turn. Yeah, I think that's a really good play. So I use my ult. I, don't, I tend not to use it that early, but... Yeah, I think that there's really good timers for it. Huh? Yeah, orcs are gonna activate. Orcs are gonna move. Yep. We're gonna move two. Go. We're gonna move two. Go. Oh, I'm gonna go get choppy. Get real choppy up in here. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna chop on shell. On shell? Yep. Totally. Our uh, dodge four. You dodge four? Yeah, man. I'm only armored two most of the time. I don't. Most of the time. I'm currently armored three. Yeah. Because shell has protected. If my side is within shell, shell gets plus one armor. I didn't hit. Yeah. No, I'm glad they tuned it down. Uh, shell used to be a four you, four. Yeah. In this current configuration, shell used to get a uh, plus one armor if yeah, it, it was, was next to a hex oh, instead of okay. the golem, and then the golem gave plus one if it was next to shell. So we can get real tanky roll. Used better. to. Used to. Yep. They, so. changed, they, they changed it because I 100% agree. It okay, was a little too tanky. Take first turn. For a well, guy in a bathroom. Oh, I sure. Mean, the dude abides. And then what are we doing? Just moving in there? Yes. Okay. Cool. I took someone. Yep. Turn was mine. I'm the victor for this one. You are the victor. Sir, this is your hex to place. Oh, we have this and this flag. So we have to win the next round. This is really important. Because if we don't win the next round, we basically... Have to win. Have to win the next... Well... Two. Eh. I mean, so basically... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't have to win the next round. It's not impossible. To, no. no. Uh, but it is... It would be better if you could. It would be. It would give him a lot of breathing room. It would give off. him a lot of breathing room. It, it also... The big thing is, is what I don't want to do is have to win the next round. And then... Uh, I don't want to win the... Round two and then lose round three. Yes. Yeah, uh, which you cannot be do. real bad. No. I well I can, I just can't. You can win round two. If you win this round next round three, three points. Then we are automatically going to for four first and the five yeah. wins. Or no. You could win back to I can back. win I can back to back. Yeah. I can two and three, which is a real good thing, but it can be really difficult to do. Yep. So um, Henry now has one victory point I do. for the five he needs to win. And going to round two, there's what two I victory think points. Yeah, what we're gonna do is we're going to place that here. I thought you might. I thought you might also place it over here. Thought about it? Oh, because but, of the scenario uh, you can I don't place want it wherever you want. Any I, don't, any empty one. I don't want Lorsane to just walk over it. True. Reasonable. Alright. Uh, my pot. Can she get yeah, her shoot and scoot over banners as well? Sure can. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really powerful. Uh, Rangosh is just going to stand up and place a banner. Seems good. Um, Bandits are going to activate and recruit. Go, Bandit, go. That bandit pork chop sandwich. He real delicious. Mm -mm. They all are. <laughs> range one. Why you gotta be range one? Ambush. Mm. Yeah. He won't ambush what we're saying. Doesn't help that they're. I'm super tempted. <laughs> I. You won't. 
hate that bitch with a passion. But I might. But I might. Um. Actually, I think we're just gonna. In, oh no. Uh. It's digging deep. Birthing the perfect <laughs> strategy. Yeah, we're gonna actually ambush Lurch in. Yep. Ooh, okay. Need a five. Nope. Don't get there. Okay. So that's the thing with Lorsane is her dodge is so high you kinda just have to keep throwing a ton of dice at her. Yep. Eventually. It's like the same thing like XCOM, right? Like Yep. Uh rates can activate. It can feel like Yeah. It can feel like the enemy is overwhelming you, but Do these not they, go they farther do not move. Okay. That's really well, unfortunate throughout the entire think game. These warband markers yeah. stay there. For the entire game. Wow. Uh, there is one where the hexes don't ever change, but your warband marker moves. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. So, like, whoever wins the first one, their warband marker moves one towards, the, towards so, the center. tons of different options for yes scenarios. Yep. They have a very open system to, to work scenarios with. Nice. And I think we're going to jet... No. Uh, one other one I've I've played before is a, uh, it's two and two. Okay. But like for me, I can We're only score these t the the two oh, on the other side. Oh, you have to go side. to the, the far side. Uh, oh, okay. Wow. Oh, it was super. Horses. It was super interesting. Uh, Jet might be Jet. tough for the uh, dwarves. Way to block me in like that, Dawson. Yeah. Why are you do me like that? Uh. Speaking of blocking you in. Do sploochlings give up points when you kill them? Yep. I should have moved. Mm -hmm. They do. I should have moved. Um, Grimshala Damn it. is an interesting champion we were talking about earlier. Her minions do, don't give up any points. Oh, that's the uh, the sludge princess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, her champions don't give up any points. Okay. Her followers. All right. Well, they're um, little, like gross booger things. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mornblade, which is another one we were talking about, the skeleton person. Right. Instead of being worth four points when you kill him, he's only worth one. Because I'm sure he keeps coming back. Because he's he's a skeleton. He has the exact same like he has the same lifeline. Yeah, he has the same lifeline as a. Black Joe's gonna go. Yep. Black Joe's gonna walk to here. What up? Black Joe's gonna sunder shale. Really rude. I get six dice to hit. What I need? Be thou sunder. I missed. Yep. No. And that's fine. Now his orcs are gonna go. They're gonna move. Yep. They're going to move again. Yeah. Reasonable. Hmm. Uh. So. Pinned in? I am done. Or no, I have Splooshlings still. Splooshlings are. Recruit? Yes. Splishy splash. No. Yeah. Splooshlings going to recruit. Slip and slide. No, it's Chris Plush. Oh, okay. Uh, and That's okay. yeah, no, their their naming is, is amazing. Uh, <laughs> then they're gonna teleport, and that one's gonna go there. Okay. So what Dawson is doing is he is preventing me from getting scenario pieces and also preventing Lord Sand from moving. I'm going to set Dawson pretty quick. I guess yeah, you she'll are. just I mean, have you're to kill everybody like, around her. Then here's the thing: is like what I what I set up to do isn't to stop him from doing anything. It's to force him to change the battlefield. Mm -hmm. yep. Which I will do. I just gotta figure out how I wanna do it. Okay. Landslide. Moves here. We're going to attempt to push, move you. Yep. Need three. Get it. Let's go there. That's unfortunate. Boom. Or Saint's gonna go here. Place her banner. Mm -hmm. Wow. Shale is going to place his banner. Ooh, where do I move you? Teleport you in, into the into the blob of men? Maybe. Weren't you an elf a second ago? I was an elf a second ago. 
Uh, Miles are going to hurt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Blur. Now it's some uh, sort of was not Golgotha D. Uh, with two axes away, you become speed three next turn. Or two. Fireball goes two or three. It goes two. Yeah. No. Uh, one, two, three. Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. This way, black chalk. Can't catch. Ah, that's all works. What's the matter, Henry? That's fine. Uh, so, we're seeing Rangers inside the show. So, those roads. Yeah. Has Roger used his feet yet? He's not. Oh. He's not in a good position to use it either, so. Mm. Do, we, do we just walk up to Rainbow? Definitely having a what small a amount of uh, God Tears to manipulate. It's a bold uh, move. Get big! Uh, um, yeah. Armor up. Come here. Okay. It's brave of him. You know, uh, just putting himself out there. It really is, actually. There's an angry demon cow right there. We are on Yep. I'm done. So, clash phase. Okay. So, turn two, clash phase. Oh, uh, one, two, three. Yep. Who's got the tug of war right now? Uh, I do, okay. currently. Yep. yep. Just a little bit down. Thank you. Um, I have. Uh, Dawson offered, told, told me that I need to answer to and two chase things. And I did. And then I have now asked him the same question. Yep. Okay. So, uh, I mean, I think we're just going to start with the Rengash question that you have, like, you, 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 you put it out there. Yep. I'm going to take can it. Can you kill me? If not, I'm going to crush your flag. Yep. I'm aware. Um, Interesting. So, armored up, what's his? I'm armor five. Actually, what's going to happen first is... Somebody run over, beat him, uh, take the armor dice away. Yes, all of yep. your two around too. Yep. Alright, uh we're gonna we're gonna Yeah, we're gonna go with Rangosh. Yep. Um Moo. Uh if it's one directly towards I get to choose, correct? Yep. That's what I thought. Alright, uh we're gonna whiplash you. Okay. Five to hit. Hmm. I need a two. Get it. Get there. Five. Five. Uh, five on five. We're gonna eat it, bro. No. No, no, no. Why? Five. Uh, six on five. Uh, do two, not. Three, four, five. So do nothing. Armor but armor there. buff is gone. I'm and here. yes, you are going there. Jawbreaker. 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 Three guys to hit. Unless you. So you used his spike. whip to hit him, pull him in closer. We're gonna. Whip has range yep. two. We're gonna hit a, a jawbreaker yep. for range one to punchy punch. Hit. Hit. Uh, so eight dice. Doom. Mm, I'm a vicious four. bandit. I mean, you can't stop at just one. <laughs> uh, that was a spicy bandit, apparently. I'm armor four, so we put these away. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Wow. Uh, I'm left at two. Yep. That was a uh, real good uh, roll. Yep. Real good. Not good enough. Yeah, if he had done, been able to do a little damage with a whip attack, then... Yes, yeah, which I should have. Which right. I should have. I mean, I was it one over? <laughs> one over, you're good to <laughs> and beat. And I bounced? You're one over... So, that, no, that is the... Uh, that, I, like, uh, I've, sure. I've read a few things. That is that is what should have been... Should okay. Ex- calculable. You're up, sir. Okay. Uh, I want to move too much. I'm going to move Yep. And crush a flag. Uh. Uh. All right. Splish links are going to activate. Actually, no, they're not. Okay. Wait. 
No, I need to do that. Solution are going to activate. Go, Bruce, go. Uh, no. Okay. So the problem is I can only move one of them because they're spread out. Their teleport thing only works in a single hex. Oh. Or wait, no, we're in this. We're in the different phase. Clash phase. Right. I may please place each splish link. This is what I like. Yeah, clash, right. clash it, it's better. Uh, solutions are going to activate. They're going to teleport. Yep. We're going to go three. Mm -hmm. We're going to go three. We're going to go three. Interesting. Um. They're going to get an armor buff. Because he's got one. Yep. That's the debuff. Do they steal his or do they just gain it? I forget. It. Choose a boon. They you gain that boon yet? Yeah. Or so you both have lose that. Uh, oh, he, he should have lost, lost it, yeah. Yep. And that's not, uh, it's not even an activate. It doesn't even cost an action. For them. Nope. They just, they just get it. It's kind of neat. Oh, wait. Tide has changed. What does it do now? It's no longer one hex directly towards. Really? Okay, so one of the up to one hex. updated in the Smooth beta. Smooth up to a hex? Yep. Strong. Uh, we're going to move Lursing. Okay. Uh, do I wait. Is it enemy? It is enemy. It is enemy. You better, you just can't shove you onto the thing and kill you. Right. Yeah. That'd be so awesome. Uh, yeah, we're gonna move Lushing. Nope. Not with that kind of roll. Our boss is pretty. He had pretty good odds to do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you think here? I think I just need to be real careful here. I think we're saying it's fine there. I'm going to go with the elves. Okay. I'm going to recruit. Yep. Recruit's one. Bring them back up to full strength. All three elf minions on the board. Having three activations it makes him pretty tricky to play. Mm -hmm. Because can he kill Landslide? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He can also just maybe kill Lorsane. Maybe. It's like a kick to Lorsane. Can't, can't uh, kick Lorsane. Uh, yeah, no, kick's the one you can do. No, kick, kick, you can only kick followers. Oh, it's the axe? It's the axe and the fireball. Axe I mean, and fireball's fine. But you cannot yeah. kick right. followers. Yeah, because it's, it's the most, it's the I, best one, but a, you can't a, do it to champions. A feeded axe onto her is, an, is no, pretty scary. No, a feeded axe is real good, too. Uh, so I think Lursan's going to have to go and try and kill Blackjaw. Otherwise, I'll lose a banner. Yep, Lursan's going to go. Okay. We're going to miss a arrow. Yep. Don't get it. Uh, we're going to snipe you then. The, worry, uh, the thing I still have to worry about is that if she manages to land three points of damage onto him, he's just dead. Well, not this turn, thankfully. Six, eight. Snipe. Snipe. I mean, hit. Definitely hit the snipe. Yep. That's uh, only four. I guess um, three. three. Uh, I did no damage. No damage. Okay. Cool. That bounced. It did. Okay. Uh, we're going to go with Wraith. Understandable. Wraith's going to curse Bloosh. Henry? Yes. Suddenly, uh, I'm gonna get armor. Okay. Because uh, Curse Boost there. Hey, Henry? Yes. I'm gonna ult. Sure. Ooh, what's his ult do? His ult allows him to jump. Yep. Yeah. It's not oh, empty, right? Place Wraith Root in an empty hex within three. No. I just think that's what you're thinking. Do you wish to up. return I don't think I'm gonna ult. Do you wish ah. to return him back to his starting position? Dawson. Yeah. Little okay. gentleman rewind. Uh, I forgot that it's specifically empty hex. Uh, 
But I think that that's still okay, because I think I can still do it. I just don't go with him this turn. Right? Um, Give yourself an avenue for later. Oh! One of the other things they did I screwed up. to yeah. adjust Wraith is that they only made it so he could curse Sploosh within a certain range. Okay. So you can only jump to a, a Sploushing within a certain range. Did he used to have unlimited range? Yes. yes. Wow. It used. Yeah. It was super broken. It yeah. was really, really uh, nice. End up on the back side of the map. It's like... Exactly. What's up, elves? Um, you gonna die. I mean, I think we're gonna have to go for it. Alright. Uh, you didn't dodge, so you're at four. So we're gonna go with Blackjaw. Okay. We're going to fireball the elf. Yep. What? I need a four. Yep. And I have five. Strong. I'm going to ult. Okay. Uh, we're going to axe Lord Shane. Sounds good. So I get yeah. six. You can do it! Seems like good odds to you. Yeah. And then dice happen. Ooh. I mean... Yeah. At the end of the day, it is a dice game. A dicey game. Dicey, dicey game. Let's see. How many actions do you have left, Henry? Um, one of saying... One of Rodri. So, I have one, two, three, four. Dustin, you have three. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Blue sticks. Okay. I'll make sure I didn't forget anyone. Um, we're going to recruit. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. If I open up any spots, risk ult is going to be real bad for me. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So I'm just going to go with the household guard. Mm-hmm. To move two. So they're all jumping into move two. Well, two mm -hmm. are getting into one hex and the other two. Attack race. Yeah. Move and then attack on the big dragon man. Uh, yep. Five. So strike. I rolled one hit. Yeah. So. Uh, that will do it. Try hard. Right? I can't believe I didn't kill it fucking elf. I am also surprised you didn't kill that elf. I fucked up too. I fucked up. Okay. I apologize. Oh good. <sighs> you in the turn. There's nothing I can do about it. Dig deep. So Henry takes, if he was to take this round, go to three points, three out of five. Do you and just hold one off more activating the rift in the hope that I make a good spot for you to land? You just don't. Like, there's no way you do it. Uh, so here's what's going to happen the orcs are going to activate. Yep. Orcs are going to move. Perfect. Uh, we're going to go here. Yep. And. Here. Stuck. Huh? The poor orc is stuck. Alright. Uh, and we're gonna hit the thing. Yup. I believe in you. Yeah, five to hit. You hit. Hit. There you go. Armor. Three. And you have two already? I do indeed. So I need five? Yep, you need five hits. I got six. Uh, yep, I'm good. So what's neat is... I get two. Dawson gets two because he killed a large follower. Okay. And plant size special stuff is that he's made of a god tier. So when he dies, uh, <laughs> he becomes an attack mm -hmm. If he comes back in, can you reinforce with him? Or? I can recruit, yeah. yeah. Oh, you recruit, rather? Yeah. yeah. He hasn't even gotten yet, either. Oh, boy. But uh, on the bright side, that cuts down. He's a lot like a champion, so knocking him out is one of those things where, like, you... Uh, 
It does cost him one of his actions. Yep. Does his god tier piece disappear if he comes back on the board? Nope. Nope. Okay. It, it will be a brand new elemental at that point. Oh, okay. I'm going to go with the rangers. Rangers are going to recruit. And we're going to shoot black gel. Mm -hmm. uh, four dice. Yeah. I miss. Okay. Good. Uh, I have Wraith. And red right, red man, that's right. No, they already. Went. No, they're oh. not. Did they? Definitely I guess not. not. Uh, I think that they are just going to recruit and duct. Uh, they induct into plot phase. They induct into plot phase. So they're going to recruit. Yep. Uh, they're going to shoot. Roger. Um. Yeah, they're going to shoot Rodri. He's almost dead, so. How many four four shelters four. does he have left? On Two. The champ? You hit. Hit. Ooh. But I need to do five. the exact. I, you get I five got four. Dice. four. Oh, is it always four? It's always four. Yeah, it's always four. Okay. They don't shoot. They don't hit very hard. Two, three, four. Bounce. Yep. Ouch. Your last one. Uh, I thought Oh, you have two. You have shell. I have shell. Shan. Shan. Yeah. yeah. So I got to figure out how I'm placing shell so I can bring in landslide. Two. Oh, I'm gonna bring one side. Okay. Right, so it's gonna come back here. Keeping him close to shale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has to. You have to recruit base to base with your. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah, he is still. Uh, I mean. Let's have some. Okay. Uh, let's like could move, but uh, it doesn't matter. Yep. Ship? Or my turn? Yes. Uh, Should we lose the break? We're just gonna uh, curse blue to here. We're gonna get armor. It doesn't matter. Ride, ride. Uh, and I guess we'll hit some little bros. Sounds good. Do you want a damage buff instead? Why? It goes away. You're going to hit some little bros? Oh, yeah, I'll take a damage buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Uh, we're going to hit some little bros. Yep. Uh, right, they're still one? real tough. They are still really tough. Uh, and in fact, they're also armored up. Yeah, they, they do have the armor die. But we're going to headbutt them. Yep. Uh, and that's there's actually an interesting interaction here. Okay. Uh, five and five, six, so two, right? Yep. Gets there. Push one away, right? Yep. Uh. Yeah. Uh, here, here, here. Uh, we're gonna go here. Here. Four? Three, four bounces. Yep. So tough. Much dwarf. Yep. New turn? I still oh, you still have to show. show. Sorry, I'm just trying to give you the turn yeah, trigger. You're, you're fine. <laughs> uh, one, two, three. Yep. Yep. Okay. Alright. Uh, end of the turn. Yep. Flags cancel. These two cancel. You win. And then I gain check. Yep. Goes two to three. Uh, so one of the big things is I think this scenario actually hurts my set. We're just gonna take them out of the rest. Of the game. <laughs> uh, I think this scenario actually really hurts my s my my pair's design or my setup is designed to score really high on, over a turn. Uh huh. And then force another turn. Hmm. Um, whereas Henry is a super control scenario with Lorsane eliminating important targets. I like flags. And uh, I, I he can, like he's flags. gonna, flags he's gonna get flags down and keep me from getting to them every turn. Wow. Um, but I get to go first. Yep. Uh, Rangosh is going to.
Right, guys, is going to. I can move two this turn. Yeah. I'm going to move two. And the game of how how do we place Rain Gosh? Yeah. It's kind of like Jango, but crappy. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to strengthen. Yep. Uh, or Tetris, I guess. These guys are going to go. Sure. Um, they're going to move. Then they are going to bring a bro in. Go, bro, go. They're going to induct. Uh, Black Jaw is going to move. Okay. And. Do we sunder shape? Do we sunder? Eli is, is another one of the things. These are the heavy ore thoughts to keep them up. Oh, is it really? Do I yeah. sunder? Do I fireball? Do I yeah, yeah, yeah. Typical. Um, typical. You know, it's hard, questions. hard life. Actually, before he goes... Sure. Before he moves, sunder... What does Quicken specifically say? Your next movement, you move one extra hex? What if you don't have any hexes? Can we Quicken move zero targets? Quicken says plus one speed. Um, so yes. I, guess. I don't know if it does me any good. It's weird. It's a weird interaction. Hmm. I don't think it does me any good. So uh, we're gonna. I don't think it matters. We're just gonna go there. Okay. This is where we want to be. Yep. Oh, we're gonna quicken the orcs before we go there. Oh, okay. So fast orcs get faster. Mm -hmm. Yep. Orcs are going to go. Yep. Move four. Uh, orcs are going to go and move again. Yep. Right. Ooh. Getting it up on the dude. Uh, sort of. He's um. funneling me at this point. Ah. Wraith's gonna go. Yep. Dragon Man. I don't know. Where's the Dragon Lady? I don't know. No, I did this wrong. That's okay. Uh, oh, I know what we're going to do. Wraith's going to feed. Wraith's going to feed. Sit there. Wraith's going to feed. Sit there. Okay. Uh, we're going to move all your bros. You're going to move a lot of bros. Yep. Uh, so you move just to there? Sure. Uh, so Henry, his feet allowed him to move a, over there. Yep. He, move, he, he places them anywhere within three. That's an empty hex. Okay. And then every enemy model that's within two of him, he gets to move. So they get knocked back in a tidal wave. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, we're going to play Spike. Okay. <laughs> Spike the flag. Uh, solution are going to go? Yep. Uh, we're going to recruit. And... Teleport. Sure. That's everything? Yeah. So, Dawson concludes his plot turn. Yeah, on to Hamry, who is in a precarious situation this turn already. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. The big thing here is that I got lucky and Lorsane hasn't been able to murder anybody yet. True state. But she's still sitting on an ult. Still has a heart full of murder. She does. She does. <sighs> I'm going to do this. Going for dice to hit. 
Yeah, uh, Dodge Four thing is good. Sunder, Sunder, Blade. Dwarves in it. It's easy to forget how fast Roger can be. I think we just have to quick. I think he just uh, tucks his knees and starts rolling. <laughs> starts rolling. Does the rule still exist that if I kill your champion or knock your champion out, your flag goes away? No. It's okay Because it, it was such a huge swing. I know. <laughs> uh, double penalize. Exactly. Yep. You, you're effectively getting like an eight point swing yeah, uh, out of it. I think I just lost the game. Um, you just move around. Well, we are running a little long, so. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't like you just move ro good. rotary in place? That's a great part. This choice here. Because I can't get to it without killing Rodri, and I can't kill Rodri with what I've got there. Rodri doesn't. Oh, Rodri's got like no life. Maybe I can. Exactly. Yeah, so I almost took him out last turn. Yeah. He's only got like two life left to live. Yeah. So he's, my turn's thinking perfect because this is a very complex state, and, and there's certain things I, mean, I need to get done. This is this shows just how deep the game yeah. gets, though, right? Like uh, we're gonna start with the landslide. We're gonna attempt hmm. to move this. Really? Sure. I mean, four. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you crashed the four. Lucky me. Uh, that opens up my turn. Yeah. Drastically. Uh, he's not going to do anything else. Okay. Shell's going to move here. Yep. Stomp on your flag. Okay. I'm not going to place anything, but I can port him. So it moves up, stomps the flag, teleport, slam, slide. And that's both his actions. That's their their both stuff of shells. Yeah. Now I move Rotary here. He places his banner. And that's me one. Okay. And the horse scene is going to strengthen herself. Oh, do I sunder you? I hope you don't kill me. <laughs> Hoping somebody somebody doesn't kill you is never usually a good plan. Yeah, so he's trying to guarantee the turn. And I'm I think that there's a Sunder Rith. Okay. Those are yours. Notice Hunter's very particular about the dice he's got. Mmm. I have to talk smack. Right? All, all the smack. I know. Me. He bites his thumb at you, sir. I know. Right? I, I'm uh, a bad person. <laughs> Move some elves. Push me three. Three. Two, three. Oh, we're going to try a center again. Okay. I'm going to get four dice this I mean, he's real easy to hit. Cool. Uh, armor do it. Yep. I don't know what to do. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. Okay, now into the clash phase. Yep. Turn three. Dope. Uh, Potentially last turn of the game. Unless uh, Dawson can pull it out. Unless Dawson can pull it out. Some points. Dawson's going to activate Rangosh. Tied up 3-3 at that point. An interesting thing. 
Yes. Is we can no longer go to a turn five. Correct. Uh, because either way, if yep. he wins this turn, it'll be he goes to three, five points for two, either one of you. We're going to activate Rangosh. There's yep. no such thing as a tie in this uh, game. Eat a bro to hit. We're going to whip her. Yep. No, 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 no. We're pretty good. Uh, so we got six to hit. Strong. Yep. I figured that might happen. Uh, didn't particularly matter. We're going to ult. Okay. Dead man. Crush yeah. and two damage. Boom. That's yours. Please. Where do you wish to put me, sir? I don't think it's going to matter, so we're just going to put him back in his hobby. No. Ooh, I'm way over there. Wow. Your turn, sir. He's far. I am very far away. Uh. On the bright side, what this means is there are no more flags left to turn the whole thing at the end of the game. <laughs> Excuse we me. We are going They're to kind of oh, Roger's flag. move place. I have to stop that. Go with Lorsane. She's going to attempt to Mystic Arrow Wraith. Yep. Uh, Drop the shots. Yep. Uh, dodge two. Dodge two. Get it. Yep. Uh, so five dice. Air current armor two. Armor two. You have eight boxes, right? Yeah, that's not what I'm worried about. Did you roll the five? You rolled the five. Oh, yeah. That's camp. He's dead. Uh, so, uh, take three. Yeah. I get scoot. And, yeah, I'm going to ult. Yeah. So, ults. He has three boxes, so I'm going to kill him. Mm -hmm. Brutal. Heart full of murder. Put him back way out here. Mm hmm. So now we both have a uh, champion this time. Mm hmm. It's a fair game, see? Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to roll. For those who might be joining late, um, so killing a champion doesn't necessarily mean it's out of the game. Basically, they can be placed within a certain distance of where they stop uh, at the whim of the person that killed them, right? Yeah. Okay, and then they basically just clear off their damage card. And uh, they can then reactivate, but they lose one of their actions on their following turns. Yep. I think we need to go with Blackjaw. Blackjaw, the angry orc. The angriest orc I know. Blackjaw's gonna move? Yep. No. Black Shot's going to move. Yeah. Let's not give up the game. Uh, and we're going to fireball those uh, elves. Sounds good. They don't have dodge. They so, uh, I am at five. Black Shot the Orc is actually a very powerful wizard. He just keeps the axe around for okay. show. He fireballed. Right? Oh, right. The other work is expected. You know, it's more of Lands a staff that one. office. Yeah, this is what it did. Four dice on damage. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that did mm -hmm. I killed one, so I get to activate again. You do get another activation. It's We're going to axe Lord Sane. Sounds good. Because I got nothing else. Yep. So his axe is actually on fire. So it's literally yeah. like him... I would imagine it's like him like slicing through the air and just like the jet of fire comes out. Or... Uh, the chances of me landing this are weak. Yeah. Hot potato from hand to hand. So close. Because fire so axe. Close. I don't see oven mitts on his model, so. Oh, but I do. Yes. I already moved it. Because I was up here for killing him. Oh, right. right. Let's see, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Shell's gonna go. Mm -hmm. and, uh, here comes the dude. And his best mm -hmm. friend, Jeffrey. Real good friends. Go through. It's kind of cool being able to move one of your minions on the champions. Champions, uh, one of their. But the drawback is that, like, is that that's like all Shield does. Shield yeah. has like a couple of other things. Uh, in the plot phase, uh, it's something that rarely comes up. Uh, Shield can move uh, boons around. Good game, sir. Okay. 
That's game. Uh, that game. So no matter yeah, what yeah, I do, yeah. I cannot right. stop him from ulting and having Shale place. Yeah. Which will ultimately uh, win him the round yeah. no matter what I do. So I okay, have, which would get him three more points. Get some. So it's, so it's not even the placement. Point, it's the fact that no matter how far I move it, his flag can always because of the way this scenario goes. Flags win this scenario all day long. Yep. Okay. Uh, hmm. I cannot push it far enough. I'm not sure I like this scenario. Well, uh, I mean, that's why it, it's in beta right now. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah, no, no, no. And that's like, I I mean, I sound like a sore loser when I say that, but I feel like... This this hef, this definitely... I feel like if we're here I mean, this isn't and the first Flags time you can guys only push it to here, this scenario. it's a lot better. What happened last time you guys played this one? We did not. We have not tried this Oh, one. you have not played no, this one? No, this... Oh, okay. We, so I think that the Flag should take you to one... There. Right? So that if I'm locked all the way, yeah. mm -hmm. a single flag doesn't win you the turn. Yeah. And I think that that would be fair. I'm sure they've tested it and they know better than I do. It's possible. But I, mean, I think that's I'm just sure my personal feedback. feedback. Yeah. yeah. Is that if I'm if I'm looking at it from my perspective, it definitely um, skews the the armies like mine. The the control armies are 100% skewed in this yeah. one. And maybe that's their goal, right? Like they it's don't possible. want the fight armies to be too good. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mean, there's other ways. It to does win do the game. a good thing for the fight armies in that it brings everything real close to. to you can, yeah. I mean, but you can like, also just get stuff. Way, we yeah. started clashing. We, yeah, yeah, we were there. clashing turn one. So like, we, like we weren't just like, oh, like maybe I get a minion. Like we were, yeah, in it in yeah. turn one. I mean, my orcs were literally almost in your deployment zone. Uh, they could have been probably. No, they maxed their movement. I did Blackjack quicken them. Yeah, no. Right. They did not. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You yeah, I could have been in your deployment. Orcs zone. can be in your opponent's deployment. Crazy. Zone. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, which does yeah. make the orcs going first crazy. It does. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up the stream yep. this time, guys. Henry Dawson, uh, thanks so much for hanging out and playing games. With Once us again, tonight. good game, Henry. Indeed. Um, my name is Matt. Uh, I'm usually I usually stream every day Friday night for the Frontier Gaming uh, Power Nine games. Uh, I check in with us next Friday. We're gonna be doing time. Uh, Star Wars Legion um, again. So. Uh, stay oh tuned God, for that. So but uh, if you get a chance, please do give us a, uh, a like on the channel so you can get notifications when we go live. We'll try to be. We're going to be rotating between Legion and 40k and uh, probably yep. more God tier definitely coming out here soon. Oh, but uh, you can also hit us up. Yep, uh, hit me good. up on Twitter uh, at Frontier Gaming C is in channel. And uh, thanks so much everybody for hanging out and watching tonight. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Deuces. <laughs>